I'll, I'll have a go at trying to get trying something. to manage. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really unsure what to expect over the next hour, but we'll find out. Oh, there, um, your son's put a note up. Oh, yeah, oh, that's, that's a good that's idea. Right. That'd be kind of fun with your ah, dad, actually. Yeah, I'm really Especially intrigued. Especially if you're doing the actual PC I, stuff. I just think that my dad has no idea yeah. about anything, right, any games at all. So, you know, um, if he has... To, it's the best thing to do is just to show him a modern game yeah. and see what he thinks about it. See what he thinks it. about it. Yeah, absolutely. So I think maybe, like, I've, I've just installed Surgeon Simulator. Oh, that'd be interesting. That oh, nice. Yeah, that'd be great. Yes. Um, and then there's the bomb game. Which would be quite well. good. Mm. Especially as there's a nice way to interact with it kind of thing. So I've never really solved the bombs myself. <laughs> <laughs> so I figure... We'll be equally in the dark about that one. Yeah, that'd be quite good. That'd be fun. Shower with your dad simulates. Oh, God. I mean, that's good yeah. for, like, literally Just one the, minute of yeah. shock. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, man. Wasn't there also oh, some... Oh, who's your daddy as well? Again, that could be quite a oh, weird one yes. to play. Is that actually... That's the one where you have the baby who's trying to, like, drink bleach and stick forks in plugs, and the other yeah. person is the dad who has to keep them from doing again, it. But again, I think that'll be all of, all of five one minutes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, exactly, yeah. yeah. Worth of it. <laughs> 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 but yeah, I'm interested to see what my dad thinks of these things. Yeah. Just... Yeah, no, what, not? what's happened to game... What's happened in gaming this year? Yeah, Christ, yeah. Imagine. Well... He can't do... Um, we're not going to do any Minecraft or any of that bullshit. No, 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 fuck that. But, um, Screw that. Or GTA. Maybe, maybe we'll shove him in GTA and let him walk around and see if he can figure it out. But I, I, I get the <laughs> opinion that, you know, it's, it's kind of beyond him to actually interface with yeah. a computer. Yeah, right? you, like you're the interface <laughs> and then it's more your dad. I mean, GTA could be an interesting one because it is just so much like Los Angeles, like the graphics and stuff. Like, it's quite visually impressive to look at when you're it's just like, if somebody who's, you know, doesn't know anything about games and stuff like that, that could be quite good. Mm. For sure. What's it called? Ah, there's a, there's a, there is a game it's which a I, good murder I mystery when you were saw, looking for. which was, yeah, it's cool. I think I saw Jesse do it a while back. Uh, so I might boot that up. Uh, that's that. Uh, that might. Oh, that's quite cool. Like, is it like one of those old school, like all the, like it's all cutscenes and you're like doing stuff like that kind of style. Game. It's very basic, and it might it might do hmm. re with regard to just letting my dad actually like do something. That's yeah, sounds useless. good. But yeah, GeoGuessr. Oh, GeoGuessr is a great mm. one as well. Yeah, we'll get we'll get that going. I think if we can get internet and stuff, that sounds really good. Oh yeah, if we can get yeah. internet. But I'm sure I think it's up. Yeah, it seems to be, it might be okay now. Oh, hang on. My phone's not connected. It's up and down, so yeah. I'm saying. Uh, so where do I want to do? World, I guess? Yeah. World. Single player. Okay, I'm going to read some of these. Uh, Joe Bennett, donating for Spooky Times, also donating for Sam, because holy crap, he seems to work 24-7, and it's damn impressive. Yeah, Sam is a goddamn hero, and we love him. Thank you very much, Joe. Vu Braves, Yarl of the Breast. I think I've read that one. Breast, best. <laughs> Fiona, loved watching you guys playing Gang Beasts. Can't wait for Lewis and Dad. Love you all. Happy holidays. Thank you, Fiona. I'm excited. It's lovely. It actually looks like it works all right. Ooh, yeah, it looks like it's not right. Oh, how do I? It's like a full screen up behind that. Can you see up there? It's like a uh. full screen button. It's like behind the logo. Like F11. That'll do as well, I guess. Yeah. Cool. This that looks, sounds good. This looks nice. Yeah, this looks lovely. awesome. Nina, one of Nina's favourite things is just to like pop down pins in Google Maps and just look around places. Oh, dad, yeah, that wasn't a like public this. thing, but yes, that is <laughs> I now. I made it one now. Yeah, now <laughs> lol. I Nina's love... a weird stalker, basically. Randomly, yeah, exploring the world. I'm excited. Okay, right, I'll, cool. I'll go get him. Yeah, do you want yeah, to, um, and then we'll hand over to you, yeah, and, okay. you and Pops? That's good. Right. Yeah. Cool. Be right back. All right. Okay. Well, look, thank you very much for tuning in. Sorry, you know, we had to change the stream last minute. Hopefully it was kind of fun watching me and Nina fart about in a bunch of different games with Sam as well, Sam the Legend. We'll have to do two spooky games yes, later. We, will, we could do that. Well, we've got some slots after Christmas. Maybe me and you can come in and play some spooky yeah, games then. if people want it. If people fancy me and Nina playing some spooky games. We're not quite Fright Night level, but, you know, maybe that'll be funnier because we're not so used to it. <sighs> or maybe we can yeah. see if, like, Hannah or Kim's free. Maybe we can play some spooky games with yeah, them as well. Yeah, that'd be lovely. That'd be quite funny. Um... It's a shame we could never do... Uh, we really wanted to do the Mystery Machine Gang. Uh, Mystery Machine Gang. So we were going to get me, Martin, Nina, Harry. Oh, yes. um, maybe get Hannah and Kim as well dressed up as the Scooby Gang from our Halloween outfits and come mm. in and play spooky games with that. But maybe that's something we can do another time. Mm. We can do that. It's just a general stream one day. That'd be quite funny. Yeah. Cool. All right. Well, thank you so much, guys. Like Once um, Lewis and Pops are, uh, are in, we're going to hand over to those guys. But again, thank you so much for donating. Do yeah. remember, humblebundle.com forward slash Yogscast. 
Uh, go there, donate. Um, also, big shout out to our subreddit. If you want to go and talk about mm. the streams, if you want to talk about anything related to Yogscast, subreddit's a really cool place to go out and chat with those guys. Don't. F I mean, this is me just plugging all the work I do as well. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter and Facebook. Um, also Instagram and Snapchat, although I haven't been posting as much lately because I've been so busy, but that will definitely keep going on into the new year. We'll do loads of behind the scenes stuff. If you like kind of seeing like, oh, here's Harry wearing a silly hat. Ha <laughs> ha ha. That's all the stuff that goes up on Instagram. <laughs> yeah. Um, and we post everything else everywhere. So yeah. So yeah, make sure you follow those. Um, it doesn't look like someone's going to be able to join today, but it will be really fun with Lewis and his dad anyway. Yeah, so, definitely. But yeah, he was, it was late stream last night, so... Cool. Right. We'll hand over to you and, and yeah, Mr. Brindley. Yeah, thanks so much, guys. Thank you very much. Thanks, guys. We're going to hand over to cool. Lewis and that now. Bye. Thank you very much. Nice. No, that's no all right. <laughs> oh, sorry. I love you. Do you want to grab your bag, Mina? Yeah. Right, Dad, you can sit here. Sit here. Yeah. This is the important seat. That's the hot seat, yeah. The hot seat. Okay. Oh. Okay. Oh, thank you. Have a, have a lovely Christmas, you guys. Yeah, you too as well. Have a Merry Christmas. Yes, thank you. Thank yeah. you very much. Enjoy. Take care. Bye. 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 Oh, so, how are you doing? Are. There we are again. Can you wear headphones? Or is it going to interfere with your hearing aid? Well, I might be able to use them. <laughs> <laughs> Give them a try. Give them a try. Pop them on and see if, see if you can actually wear them. Because this might be the first problem that we have. It um, might be. Hello. Is how how's that? Can you, can you hear can, a bit of Christmas music? Yeah, I can hear, can you hear you. me. Quite muffled, but I can hear you. Well, you've got big big hair. A lot of hair, yeah. Yeah. Thank goodness. So, um, <laughs> welcome to Christmas live stream 2015. Yogscast Jingle Jam. Uh, uh, raising money for charity. Yeah, and I'm delighted to be here. Well, everyone's delighted to have you. Is it okay? To, are you comfortable sitting in these headphones? Are they yes, uncomfortable? Yes, at, at the moment. Are they, are they a problem or anything? No, no, for I you? think they might make me go to sleep, but that's, you know, if I go to sleep, just... Why is that? Is well, that because they're a, quite warm you know. and cosy or what? <laughs> <laughs> it's simply that... Um, like earmuffs. I can hear you quite clearly, but in a sort of strange gentle, way. Gentle, gentle Yeah, sort way. of muffled. Right. Okay. And so you're talking through a sheet or something, right. or a blanket or something like that. Well, that, that might just be the, the extra bass that we add to my voice, because this isn't my real voice. This isn't your real voice? No, no, no. When people out there, when they hear me, we put myself, we put me through a special filter to make me warmer. Ah, but do they? When people meet me in real life, they hear my real voice, which you can hear see. normally, which is like a high-pitched, right. it's kind of like yeah. a, an ant, like a squeaky, yes, mousy yes. voice. I've never, I've never noticed that, by no, the way. You, you, no, you have, that's my <laughs> normal <laughs> voice. The voice you're hearing now, this deep, warm, bassy, mm, mm -hmm. hey, nice voice, that mm. is what everyone else hears, you see. Right, okay, now th what are they doing to my voice? Nothing, nothing. nothing. Is that so? No, they're making it more high-pitched. <laughs> <laughs> you sound like a squeaky alien. Do I? A squeaky yeah. alien? Huh? That's, that, well, I must say, I've never been toy. likened to a squeaky alien before, but uh, okay. Squeaky That's cool. Alien. So, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Do you like Christmas? Generally, yes. What, do you have any good memories of Christmas? Good memories of Christmas? Well, um, I suppose the best memories of Christmas was when I was young. Okay. At home. How young? What do you mean, at home? Well, probably about ten and things like that. Okay. So, what 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 well, what stands out? Uh, what stands out? Well, getting presents which you didn't expect. What? Okay. So, what what was that? Have you, what specifically were they? Well, I remember getting a chemistry set. Okay. What did that have in it? Well, it had all sorts of um, test tubes and powders and things like that, and I. Uh, I remember thinking, well, I don't know why I've got this, but I'll have a go at it. Okay. And um, I started doing all sorts of things. And I remember one day, there's a, uh, I was mixing these things. And what happened, goodness knows what happened, I don't know. But there was a boom. Okay. And a great jet of black liquid shot up all over the ceiling. Well, I mean, was that deliberate? I, I assume this was in the 50s. Uh, yes, it would be. Yes. Or even the, maybe the, the 40s. No, no, it would be the late 40s. Late, late 40s. 40s yes. I mean, the late 40s chemistry sets back then, I'm sure they didn't, this was, this was the days before, well, safety. Probably, yeah, yeah. 
I, I must mean, say, I never got any instructions with this. Right. So it was really experimentation, if you see, in the, in the widest sense. And of course, as you can imagine... Even they didn't know what they put into the chemistry set. No, I set. don't suppose they did. No. I certainly didn't. So what, you had like gunpowder and radioactive well, isotopes? Well, certainly and... something happened because the ceiling was covered in black. And uh, as you can imagine, uh, I think my mother was extremely upset. <laughs> well, who got you the chemistry set? <laughs> I think it was my father. Okay. But what happened, obviously, in order to avoid any problems, I think the mother spent half a day cleaning the ceiling. Oh, God. Half a day? Yeah, well, she didn't want my father to know because I think she thought he might have thought I was going to kill somebody. Right. Well, was that something that she'd intended or...? <laughs> totally <laughs> unintended. <laughs> I mean, I remember going through as a kid, going through... Um, going through the cupboards under the sink and making magic potions out of all of mum's old bottles of things. Just, just yeah. And I remember they always came out brown because mum dyed her hair brown, you see. Didn't, yes, that's Didn't right. realise this till yes. much later. Until you wouldn't. Um, of course you wouldn't. No. That's why all of my magic potions all came out brown, you know. Yes. So, so I, I, it, must, it was a different world, though, when you were a kid, right? When you were... Because you were born in 19... Can I say this? 1939. Is that when you were born? Nearly. 1937? 37? You don't have to tell everybody, do you? <laughs> Good gracious, Lewis. So okay, okay, when, was your, when, when were you born? Where? When? When? What was your date of birth? August. August? The 6th. 6th, 1930... We're going to say 7, are we? Yes, we're going to say 7. Is it, is it even, are you even older than that? No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no older than that. That's okay. Let's be honest. That's my age. That's okay. my birthday. So, yeah. I always thought it was thirty-nine for some reason. Thank you, Lewis. That's kind of you. So that puts you at oh goodness. Yes, goodness. Yes. <laughs> Don't say. <it. laughs> no point in telling everybody anything else. So let's I mean, not keep on. Do you remember much about the war or anything? How did it affect I you? I do. I do remember. A little bit, yes, I do. So did uh, it affect you? Because you were living up in Derby. Yes, I was living in Derby, well within range of the Rolls-Royce factory, which was the object of the German bombers. Oh dear. Fortunately, I think some very clever person in Britain, not me, was able to manipulate the waves so the actual German bombers bypassed Derby. And went to Sheffield or something like that. Did they? Yep. We had very little bombing in Derby. Although, I mean, there was some bombing, but um, the Rolls-Royce factory, which was responsible for building all the engines for the Spitfires and Hurricanes and so on, um, was missed entirely. So, did you, you didn't get evacuated or moved or anything, I guess. No. That was only for people living in the um, very centres of yes, cities, the right? the bigger urban areas. So you yeah. were all sort of... Fairly on the outskirts. Anyway, were you? No, no. Uh, at the beginning of the war, we were living more or less on the outskirts. But since my father was employed doing war work, he, uh, we moved to a house nearer to where he worked, which was nearer to the Rolls-Royce factory, unfortunately. <laughs> so, <laughs> did your dad own a grocer's? No, that was later on. That was later. So when you so when he'd um, decided that uh, he wanted to get out of working in a factory, yeah. So he worked in a factory when you were young, in the yeah. Rolls Royce factory. No, 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 it wasn't Rolls Royce factory. What was he doing? Um, well, he was working on some sort of war work, war work, but I don't know exactly what he was doing. So he was he was working during the war. Yeah. So how old was he during the war then? Well, I suppose my dad must have been about. Um, 30 odd when the war started so he didn't so he didn't get conscripted did, did many of his friends or any of his brothers get conscripted no no Called in up? fact uh, most of my aunts and uncles were all working in engineering factories which were basically doing um, work for the MOD you know war work uh, there's only one of my uncles was actually conscripted into the um, into the army and what happened to him Uncle Bill, he was uh, the youngest of my uncles. He was 
posted to Burma. Okay. He spent most of his time fighting the Japanese. Right. And I guess he survived the war. He did, fortunately. Um, no injuries, but um, he did actually contact contract malaria. Right. And I guess course, a lot of people did. Yeah, yeah. And it would continue to flare up over the years. Oh, right. Yeah. Wow. Well, I mean, I didn't want to bring the mood down particularly, but I was, I was just interested, that's all. <laughs> so, I guess, um, so I guess, you know, it was, it was a different time. You know, I don't think Christmas was as corporate as it was these days. But, but still, I mean, it's nice that you actually did get these... Because a chemistry set sounds like quite an expensive present to me. Hmm. You know, it sounds like... You know, something which only sort of fairly well-to-do people might have got. Well, I think that, in, as you as you appreciate, in those days, certainly um, during the war and subsequently to the war, Britain was in a difficult situation. Mm. Um, rationing meant that we didn't get the sort of things into the country that we get now. Uh, I mean, I never ever remember seeing a banana, for example until well after the war. Um, what do you mean? When was the first time you saw a banana? I should think it must have been about 1947. Okay. And the war what, ended in 45. What was your reaction to seeing a banana? Thinking, oh, well, I, I, funny enough, I'd seen some pictures of bananas. Okay. So I did recognise it straight away. You did, you did recognise it I did recognise it, You were it, like, yeah. I've seen yeah. pictures. I've seen pictures. Well, on the local green grocer's shop, there was a picture of a bunch of bananas mm -hmm. on the wind, uh, stuck on the window, you see. Right. So Coming soon. Coming soon. <laughs> <laughs> a banana. <laughs> yeah, yes. And, of, of course, Christmas. Well, what did we get for Christmas? Well, I, I mean, during the war, very little. I can't think of anything, really, as I might have got during the war, apart from food. No. But, so, yeah, I mean, that's, that's nice. And so... You know, you you did you did you have an old? We always joke about how we all, when I was young, I had to walk ten miles to school through cold s snow in shorts. Oh yeah, wasn't it tough? My goodness, it was tough. Yeah, was it different? Was it different? I mean, you, I guess you don't really know what's happening in schools pretty much these days. But how did how what, what was school like different to what it is today? You um, got the cane, didn't you? And you know, hit with a s slipper if you were bad. Was was that still a thing? Yes, yes. Corporal punishment, it was called. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, I was. I, generally speaking, I think I was pretty well behaved. Okay. So you were. Where did you sit in the classroom? Were you at the front or the back? Uh, near the front. You were near the front. Near okay. The front, yeah. You were well behaved. Well behaved. Yeah. Apart from one occasion, I'm talking out of uh, now about the junior school. Right. The junior school was very near to where we lived at that time. And for one, for some reason, I either did something or said something, and the head teacher beat me across the back of the legs with his cane. Right. And I remember going home and saying to my mother, "I don't know why, why I got that." <laughs> <laughs> and she probably said, "I bet you do know why." <laughs> well, she probably did, yeah. but I don't remember why at the time. I didn't remember why. I may have. I don't know really. I you still don't know why no, you got the cane. I still don't know why. I've always, it's always rankled. It's always, <laughs> you know. Sometimes you do things and you deserve it. Yeah, and you and think, you, all and right, you, and okay, that's fine. I'll take my punishment. Take punishment. But if it's something that you don't do, it rankles. I always remember when I was later on secondary school, um, we we're outside, and we we're doing some PE, and we had to move from one chalk spot, which was in the playground, to another one, and for some reason. I jumped up near one of the chalk spots and the teacher thought I was jumping on the chalk spots oh. and, and trying to erase it. Right. So, oh, I got into hot water there. I did get the slipper then, yeah. <laughs> and that was, that, for, I mean, that was um, unfortunate because I certainly wasn't intending to do anything. No. I was just happy, you know, jumping up and down. Yeah. He thought I was trying to Try jump to erase on it. The... Yeah. And we weren't happy after Come you got here, the slipper. Brindley. Is that what happened? Yeah. So, what did you study at school? I mean, what were the subjects that you learned? Apart from reading, writing, arithmetic, you mean? Yeah. At secondary school, did you, you went to? Did you go to Derby School? Is that what it was back then? Uh, yes. Was Derby it a good school? school? 
Very good school. Was it a grammar? It was indeed a grammar school. So how did you get into that in the first place? Did you get in because you were, you know... What, what, Bright, what, what intelligent, got you in? Did you have to brilliant. pass an exam? <laughs> Or not? I don't know. Yes, yes, yes. There was an 11 plus. So there was an exam. There was an exam. Everyone, everyone in, in the school took an 11 plus. So you went to quite a good school. I did. There were two grammar schools for boys in Derby. Derby Grammar School, or Derby School it was called, and Benrose School. Uh, and Benrose School actually featured on the television recently. Oh, yeah. Um, it uh, had an exchange with some students from public school in Wiltshire. And um, some students from Wiltshire came to Benrose School and vice versa. Right. Although Benrose School now is not a grammar school, it was converted to a comprehensive... Um, what story? <laughs> so so <laughs> what did you study at Derby School? Because I know that you probably did Latin and things like that, didn't you? Did no, you? I didn't, didn't do Latin. Didn't do Latin? No. It's, probably, no, it's, it's no. already better than modern schools. I, um, I had to do Latin. Latin was taught. But, okay. Um, uh, I didn't do Latin, no, I, I did German. All right. What happened was that the best students were put into Latin. Right. The poorer students were put into German. Right. And okay. the very poor students didn't do anything. Okay. <laughs> so, well, there's a lot of apart from French. Guys. Everyone had to do French. Right. Everyone did French. All How the, is your French? All the way through to uh, GCE. Did that serve you well? Oh, oui, monsieur. Très bien. <laughs> Très bien. <laughs> Beaucoup de français. Uh, uh, bien yeah, sûr. Yeah. So, so w w what was GCE then? Is that the equivalent of our GCSEs nowadays? General Certificate of Education. So that was the O-levels? That was, yes, O-levels as it was called. Ordinary yeah. levels. Um, I think I took the O-levels the second get? year after it was introduced. There used to be school certificate and high school certificate. Okay. Uh, but then you were in the first wave of the new first post -war. well second wave actually. First, I was in the second year of that, so it was very very much a new thing. GCE. There was A level. That was when A levels and O levels were introduced. Right. So I guess were you part of the baby boom? I guess you weren't really, were you? Because you were slightly older than that. Because uh, obviously yes, there was this true. thing called the baby boom, which was after the war. It was, and it was kind of yeah, it was in the latter years of the war where mm. all the soldiers came back, were encouraged to to have kids, and you know, because a, a country is only as strong as its you know I'm not, population. I'm not necessarily sure they're encouraged. Well, but they did. Well, what we have to remember is that a lot of our fighting troops have been abroad for a long time. Right. So there was a certain, certain hunger. Desire and hunger when yeah. they returned home. So we had this, and I guess you were, because there was this, this problem really that there were a lot of children born and there, were. there weren't really enough class spaces for them. And so, but you were just sort of ahead of that, uh, yeah. ahead of You're that right. wave, weren't you, a little Correct. bit? Correct, yeah. yeah. Mm. And so um, you got away with your GCSEs. And you got, did you stay, how many years did you stay at Derby? Was it five? Yes, five. Yeah. And then you went, oh wait, I, so I, you left school I, at 16. I left school at 16. That's pretty, that was pretty standard back then, was it? Very few, very few students uh, were encouraged to stay on to do university. Right. Uh, I mean, some very bright chaps uh, in the class. Um, I, I don't know why. So even from your grammar school, which is a hard school to get into, very few of the people very from your few. school went to university. Yeah, very few. I think from... from my, we had a class of about 30. It was only a two-form entry school. So there's only about 450 in the school altogether. Uh, but of my class of 30, I uh, don't think more than four or five went to university. Really? But they're all... I mean, they were clever lads. Fortunately, or unfortunately, as the case may be, uh, Derby had a very, uh, uh, was very good in terms of employment, and lots of lads went off to work in industry. Right. As I did, of course. Yeah. But I... I w <laughs> so you, joined, you went into an apprenticeship, right? I went into an apprenticeship, but I'll tell you a little tale. Um, as I said, the, uh, the, I don't think the head teacher, I mean, he was a good chap, I'm sure, and I, I remember him took talk, talk, talk us for physics one year, but um, 
It, I don't think he, he encouraged people to go to university. I, I got seven GCEs. Right. Seven out of seven. I took seven. I got seven. Okay. And I well, went back to were school. Were there grades? Did you have grades on them or were they no, just pass or fail back then? Pass, pass or fail, yeah. Okay, so you passed all of them. Passed all of them. And I went back to school to collect the certificate. Right. And I had to walk along the corridor and the head teacher came along, you see, and he said, oh, hello, Brindley. I said, hello, sir. He said, have you got a job yet? <laughs> <laughs> I said, well, no, I haven't. Well, he said, you'd better start looking for one, hadn't you? No, no question about how many GCSEs did you get. Jolly good show. Have you thought of what you're going to be doing? And then off he went. So I thought, well, I'd better go and get a job. And so you did? I did, yeah. Who did you work for? Rolls Royce. How was it? Good. Was it a big sort of community? Was it a big factory with a lot of people working oh, there? Oh, yes, big factory. It was the uh, biggest employer in Derby next to the railway. At that time, uh, the railway was a uh, big employer because the, Midland, the London Midland Scottish Railway had its headquarters in Derby. In fact, it had a lovely hotel. Still has. In fact, I tend to eat there occasionally when I'm back in Derby. Okay. So, what were you doing at Rolls Royce? I was an apprentice. What does that mean? <laughs> what does it mean? Uh, all right. Um, you made tea. There, there are all different grades of apprentices. Okay. There's a um, trade apprentice who goes in to do basic engineering. There's an engineering apprentice who tends to be at a sort of higher grade. But I, for my sins, became a commercial engineering apprentice. Okay, now what does that mean? That meant... <laughs> what are you doing <laughs> every day? That meant that I, w I did a, a course which comprised of engineering for sort of two and a half years and commercial work for two and a half years, working in the office work in the accounts department, work in the payroll. That's, that was the... Uh, so that's actually what I was doing. I was trained to be an accountant. Right. So you went to Rolls-Royce expecting... To be, were you expecting to be making ball bearings no, and no. gears? No, I was, I was signed on as a commercial engineering apprentice. A commercial engineering apprentice, correct. which meant accountant? So, correct. Right. Yeah. So you were engineering with numbers? Yeah. Right. What were you were you doing maths and like working out like the actual dimensions of things, or was it just figuring out people's pay packets and stuff? Well, part of it was uh, helping to figure out people's pay packets in, uh, to begin with. Yes. Uh, once I'd spent some time working through the factory, I did a basic engineering course, the same as all the princes. I then moved to work into the factory, going around different departments, learning how to make things. Then I finished up actually working in the assembly department, assembling engines. Not that I did much of that, no. because that's a rather skilled job, putting these massive parts together to make an engine that actually works. Um, but it, it gave me a background for doing the accounting because the accountancy body that I joined was in those days called the Institute of Cost and Works Accountants. Okay, well I think what we're now doing is we're getting into the period of your life where you became an accountant. Yeah. Now, for the purposes of keeping the stream interesting, yeah. I think we, we probably don't want to hear about the 50 years of accounting no, you don't. stuff that you did. <laughs> Terribly boring. Not that it's not interesting, but... Uh, I, I think I could probably do, I think we could probably do without it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> is there I'm anything sure that you particularly remember around Christmas at all this time? I mean, did you, because you were still involved with the Scouts very heavily, I know you went off and you spent one Christmas, did you spend one Christmas in Norway or something like this, watching stuff? Uh, no. Um, I remember. Uh, Norway was a summer trip. Oh, mm. the opposite of Christmas, in opposite fact. I spent Christmas in Norway skiing. Okay. Well... <laughs> <laughs> Freezing cold. I'll tell you. If you even to, in even in summer. If you go to if you go to Norway uh, in winter, it is cold. Not just I've been to Austria in winter. It isn't as cold as Norway. Everyone does want a play-by-play -play of your 
50 years as an accountant, man and boy. Mm-hmm. So, I don't know, I always feel like, I always feel like a little bit like, do you remember that Monty Python sketch where there was that accountant and he was very bored with his job and he, he, he kept going and saying, oh, I, wanted to, I want to be a lion tamer. You know, he wanted to be something that was exciting. I think there is this stereotype around accountancy that it is the most boring thing. <laughs> in the world um what do you think about accountancy did you did you enjoy it do you find it satisfying oh, yes it's not it isn't at all boring because the boring work is done by the bookkeeper oh right well but, isn't that quite interesting though because don't you get to sort of nose into people's accounts and find out what they've been doing what they've been spending their money on you know yeah that's, you get to see all their receipts you get to sort of piece together their life over the last year in front of you on paper yes that's true um, I mean, what one is doing, really, for, for tax purposes, one is producing accounts so that the taxman can levy the appropriate amount of tax. Is it quite a sort of cunning thing? Do you have to be quite sort of sneaky? Now, what you have to do is to help people in business to minimise their tax exposure. Yeah. yeah. Because the rules are complicated, and they get more complicated as years goes on. Oh, yeah. Indeed, you know, the pile of law books dealing with tax in 25 years ago was that size. Now it's that size. Yeah. It never gets simpler. It always gets more complicated. But they always say that one of the first jobs to go, apparently, when the robots take over, will be accounting. Is it? Um, yeah, because it will all be able to be digitally plugged in. Because all of our accounts and all of our bank accounts are all online now. A lot of our receipts and stuff. One of the things that's, that's interesting is they might get rid of money, paper money. Yes. Um, mm. Because, you know, increasingly it's not needed for things. And increasingly it's one of these things which is, you know, more kind of under the table and tax avoid, isn't it, to have paper money around? You know? Yes, yes, yes. Did you, you ever can. encourage people to get paid in cash and then, you know, maybe buy their shopping with the cash? It's certainly not. <laughs> certainly not. <laughs> they, I'm just saying, account- that's a very common way uh, to do uh, it, isn't it? <laughs> As a professional person, accountants have to keep within the law. They, they actually try to ensure their clients keep within the law. Okay. And so indeed. Do you have a sort of code, an ethical code? Yeah, like of course. A kind of, like, yeah. the, like the medical one. Absolutely. To save lives. Yeah, um, unfortunately, it's, it could be broken quite regularly, uh, and laws have been passed to make sure that accountants follow the rules. Okay. I mean, while I was the, during the last few years of my works, um, they introduced the um, Act to make sure accountants were checking people for doing exactly what you're saying okay i'm just you know i'm I'm just putting the question i'm just putting it out there (laughs) just saying (laughs) that you know this kind of stuff probably gets happens a lot um so uh but 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 did you were you satisfied did you find it was a satisfying thing to do because i think some people's jobs feel i think this is a very common thing okay in, in in our lives that some people have a job where they don't they don't they don't feel like they're doing anything. They've, they're only a cog in a large machine, yes, and they never yes. get a very big sat- sense of satisfaction. Yes. I think you know some people, for example, who are doctors. Um, they start off. They start off working with people every day and, and going and, and helping people directly, and they get a very a lot of satisfaction from mm. that. And then when they get promoted up to a managerial position where they're managing ten doctors, they suddenly feel very isolated from the good work that they used to be doing because they're not directly in, yeah. interacting anymore. Mm. So, how did you feel about that? Because you, I mean, you kind of a freelance accountant when you? you did your own yes stuff. um yes uh, it's it, there's a long story to this i don't want to bore you no i'm but boring you you've got to sounds. remember that i qualified as an accountant an industrial accountant if that's the right term with rolls royce and having worked there for several years i then decided i wanted a change yeah and that's something that i've talked a little bit about in previous streams with terps that you know it's, Sometimes it is. It, what, what, what was it that triggered the need for a change? Was it people that you worked with? Because usually it would be something that triggered that, wouldn't it? You were mm, unsatisfied yes, for I some think, reason. Um, two things, really. Out? First okay. of all, before I had to do national service, I became a scout leader. And um, it was a very good group. 
And as a scout leader, you are actually teaching kids to do all sorts of things. So when did you have to do national service? Where? When? When I was 21. Oh, right. So you worked at Rolls-Royce for five years Correct. and then had to leave. That's right. And how long did you have to do national service for? Two years. In the army? Yeah. Well, army or air force. Did you get to pick? Yes, you did, actually. Yes, but I chose the army. Why? Because I'd been in the air cadets. Right. And I'd done a lot of flying and I'd been sick every time. Okay. And I came to the conclusion I couldn't stand it. <laughs> Right. You just like the ground underneath <laughs> just your Just like the ground, yeah. You like being a grunt. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so um, having taught boys, I was uh, obviously knew what the problems were in dealing with kids. Um, I did two years national service, and during which time I was trained to kill people. And um, in due course was training people to kill people. Oh, dear. But what that meant was that when you're in charge of men, you are really teaching them, training them. And I think what happened was a combination of having taught young people as scouts and having taught um, men in the army, uh, having spent then several years back at Rolls-Royce, I thought, I would like to do something different. And that's what uh, encouraged me to move into lecturing. Lecturing? Mm. So then you started teaching accounting, did you? Yeah. Right. How, so how long did you teach for? Oh, too many years. Too long. And what did you, th feel, what did you think about teaching people? Um, great. You liked it? Yeah. I think uh, I've got a few friends who teach and they, they like it. Great, great. It really is. It's, it's difficult to describe... It has its bad moments. <laughs> As does everything. If, if, As everything. But you can't have good but, moments without um, bad moments, right? You can't have a good But it's very good taking a group of students, getting them through an exam, and seeing them develop as, as young men and ladies, girls. Did many girls do um, accounting? Not many, but some did. Yeah, no. some did. What do you feel about like that kind of gap? Do you think... You know, because we, we get this, this discussion a lot in sort of modern... It's a, it's a very common discussion that is permeating the polit politisphere at the moment. There's this wage gap between mm. men and women. Mm. Um, yes. And that is because... Well, it's, it's partly because... I don't like talking about this stuff, actually. It's never good to talk about politics, but... Um, it's because women choose different jobs. You know, not, you know, men don't really want to be nurses. It's kind of not a, not a thing that men particularly want to be. And I think there's... A, how do you think we get more women into things like accounting or more male-dominated subjects? Um, I think the accounting side is, is definitely improving. A lot more ladies are going... Girls are going into accounting. Not many go into engineering. It, there's still this thought that, you know, when an engineer has, gets his hands dirty... Um, I don't know, it's difficult, Lewis. Did women have to do some sort of equivalent of national service or anything like that after, after no. the war? Because no. I know a lot of women did a lot of work, or well, roped into the war in many ways, because, you know, um, some of, you know, like the farm girls and stuff. I know Auntie Rose used to be... Yes, land army. Land army, mm. yeah. Oh, no, I mean, there were, there were tremendous... Um, I think there was a tremendous number of ladies in the war, not only did war work, but went into the WAFs, the ATS, you know, the um, armed services to help in a civilian sort of capacity, but yeah, yeah. How do you feel about, um, I mean, how well paid was, was, how well respected and well paid was teaching as a profession back when you were doing it or when you were in school compared to how it is now? I. I... I, ca I, can't, I can't say what it was like when I, when I was at school. I don't know. All I know is that um, when I joined the profession, I thought the pay was pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad. Um, well, is there anything else that's, that's on your mind that you, you, you think about around Christmas that you remember when you were, you know, the good, good sort of things, things about Christmas and ways that you, any good, good times, good things you've got to say or remember around Christmas? I think, um, yes, in those days um, I belonged to a family which was 
based in Derby and uh, both my father's family and my mother's family, they, they were all in Derby. So Christmas would be a time when everyone got together. I mean, it was really a good, good session. Mm. Um, and we'd have lots of food and that was possible. Um, we all do have games, sing songs. What were the games that you played? Oh, these stupid games like Pass the Parcel. Oh, um, the classics. Um, musical chairs. Yeah, musical chairs. So kind chairs. of parlour games, were they? Yeah, Very physical right, yeah. games. Yeah. Okay. Like hide and seek. Yeah, oh yes, hide and seek. For the kids. For the kids, <laughs> I see. <laughs> not, not the adults. Uh, no, but... Yeah. I think it's. I think that what we. Well, I think that that's something that we. Sh we. I mean, when you look at some of the games that people play. I mean, I can remember having playing Monopoly. It's these terrible. They're terrible board games, really, aren't they? Um, like, you know, everyone always argues about Monopoly. Did you get into sort of any? Did you Did you ever have any fallings out and things like that? Were they like? Because you know, you know what it's like when you come home and you put these big group of family together who don't see each other very much. Mm. Did, are there ever any sort of fallings out over that kind of period, or is everyone usually quite quite chummy? I think if there were fallings out, I wasn't aware of it. Okay. I'm sure they would be. So it was always quite bright, was it? Oh, yes. That's nice. As far as I remember. <laughs> as far as I remember. Uh, so, yeah. Um, I think what we've got... I think that was a good chat. I think we can carry on. We'll do a bit more chatting and we'll do read some donations and maybe you guys can ask some questions that you want um, Dad and me to talk about. But I thought what we could do is we could play a little game mm -hmm. on the internet, which I thought you might like. Mm -hmm. It's called GeoGuessr. Have you ever heard of it? No. It's very easy to play. Um, so basically what you have to do is you get plonked down in the world somewhere and what this, is, what this uses, this uses, you know, Google... Google yeah. Street View. Have you ever seen Google Street mm -hmm. yeah. View? You've heard yes. about it on the news, yes. right? Um, so Google cars have been all over the world. They've recorded a whole load of um, places. And all over the world, they have Google cars have been. So you are plonked here on this road in the middle of somewhere. All and right. you have to find, guess where you are. All right. Okay. You're allowed to move around. So grab the mouse. Um, so you can, actually, you can actually look around. So you look around by clicking and dragging. Or you can... Uh, yeah, there you go. You, you get it. And so if you click on click somewhere and drag, there you go. So you can look at the lovely clouds and you can double click, which will take you up and down the road. Okay, so if you're double clicking, what you're doing is you're, you're moving up and down this road. Okay, and those arrows there, I know it's difficult to control. You'll have to figure yeah, it out. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, so isn't this a lovely area that you've... Now, of course, you see a big clue to where you are might be on that sign. Okay. Because maybe that sign there, that signpost, you see that signpost over there? Oh, there. Yeah, you see that? That mm. might be in Romanian or something like that. Um, so if you can see if you can drive around to the other side of it, you're going to have to drive your car up a little bit further and then turn around. Mm. Now, take it easy. You'll figure it out. So if you want to... So, dr so drag them... Okay, now mouse over it and roll the scroll wheel. And it will zoom in. Um, so if you roll, if you, yeah. Uh, again, the whole interface thing is is a tricky thing. So, <laughs> where do you think you are first of all? Where do you think this is first uh, of all? What's your instinct? All these trees. Um, Scotland. Scotland. Okay, that's your initial instinct, but. Uh, so don't click on the map anyway, because that'll that'll um, that'll make your guess. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on that map to guess where you are. So right. go back along the road a bit. So so click on the arrow that brings brings us this way. Uh, so you see that arrow in the middle. You can click on those arrows in the middle, and that will just take us. Just click click on it once. Okay, and now see where that sign is. Move the mouse over to that sign. Yeah. And roll the scroll wheel in. Okay. Roll the sc scroll wheel on the mouse. That's right. Zoom in. There you go. Okay, now what's it say? Can you see that? Well, it says, so, 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 there you go. Please be careful, report wildfires. 1 800 663 555 BC Forest Service. Okay? Okay. Now, what we could do is we could just ring that number. BC? And we could find out. Where do you think it is? What well, where do you think that means, BC Forest Service? You get any idea where we are? Uh, British, do you think we're in British Columbia? Okay, so you're thinking Canada? You're thinking of British Columbia. Mm. Okay. 
Well, let's let's do that as a get. Let's we we'll use this one as an example. So if we go to the map uh, in the bottom corner, and you see where it says, uh, so so zoom in on Canada. So roll the mouse wheel forwards. Uh, there you go. Right, and you're gonna have to drag. You're gonna have to drag with the uh, the, the. I know it's it's very difficult, Dad. You're just gonna have to scroll out again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so listen. There's there's two, there's, there are, there's, there there's two controls here. One I'll show you is the scroll wheel. So the scroll wheel will zoom you in and out. The other one you can actually click like this. You see, click to grab hold of the road and drag. Mm. You see, and the other one is where you double click. That will put Takes you in you a up. direction. Okay, okay, and so there's someone. Someone is in their car there. Do you mm -hmm. see that guy in their car? Mm. They've obviously overtaken us. There obviously there's a guy in a car. Look, this, we can't. We maybe we can even get a glimpse of him. Okay, so this is a GMC for a start. What kind of car is that? You know, who knows? You know, there's no number plate on the front, so it's certainly not the UK, is it? Mm. And on the back, the number plate is... Oh, it's covered in covered dirt. Up, so but there is, like, it. a little symbol on the back. Did you see that? What's that symbol? It's a... Is that a D? So D. What, what could that mean? Anyway, so what we're going to do is we're going to make a guess here. So we're going to... So I want you to do it. So, so use the scroll wheel to zoom in and out and drag the... Drag the map when you're clicking it. Okay, ah, oh, you got it. You're getting it. Okay, so British Columbia is there on the on the left, isn't it? BC, right? So, zoom in and drag drag up to the. There you go. So, where do you think we are in British Columbia? That's a difficult question, isn't it? Yep. Could be somewhere in the south. Okay. Well, you know, it could be all over the place. So, I suggest you just click on somewhere and say make guess. So click on the click on the make guess at the bottom. Bam. Well, we were 394 miles from the location, but you're correct. It was in Canada. It was in British Columbia. And there you go. All right. Mm, so you were well. pretty close, Dad. Actually, that was very good. <laughs> very good. That's actually a pretty good point, right? So as you, if you scroll out a little bit on that map above you, you can see just how far away you were. Uh, so it was actually up there. You see mm. near. Dawson's Creek. Dawson's Creek sounds very wild. It does, doesn't it? So mm. you can you can scroll back out with the mouse wheel and just show. So of the whole world, you guessed in pretty much the right region. Mm. Uh, so click play next round, and uh, you'll be plonked, Dad, in a completely another completely new place, right? So you've been plonked down on another Google Street somewhere in the world. So this is some house which is clearly just being built. Uh, there's a there's a, there's a, it looks like a barn being built over there, some logs. You know, it's quite dusty on the road, but that could be anywhere, couldn't it? Now, where do you think you are? Mm. Could be anywhere. Could be anywhere in the world, couldn't it? So you need to really sort of have a think about what the, what the, what the place looks like. Um, uh, it's probably Canada again. <laughs> no. So, mm. give us a give us a full full panorama. Look around. You've got you, you can look around all you want. So, uh, there's another house over there. That well, looks quite nice, doesn't it? There's someone else's house over there. Some bikes. There's a there's a little kid there, maybe in the yard. Do you want to want to scroll in on him? Oh. So so roll the mouse wheel. And uh, you should be able to zoom in. Oh, what's that? That's creepy, isn't it? Oh, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a kid and his mum, maybe, and a dog there. You see a dog? Yeah, that could be, that could be, um, hmm. that could be anything. Right. So scroll back out, and uh, maybe go down one of the roads. So if you double click down that road, um, it will take you down there. You see, and we can, we can, we can explore this place. Um, yes. You're a bit zoomed in. I was wondering, coming back, there was a f car or vehicle somewhere, wasn't there? <laughs> so, mm. so, so, scroll the mouse wheel back a bit. You're going to get used to the controls, I'm, I promise you, one day. But sc do. scroll the mouse wheel back a bit, just so we can see what we're doing. And, uh, yeah, look, there's a car in that drive, isn't there? And there's a car down there. So, maybe go down there, head down here. All right. So it looks like that's been blurred out because Google blurs out number plates and stuff by the looks. Um, oh, so what does it look like? Could be anything, couldn't it? Could be anything, Dad. But it's definitely European. 
You think it's European? Mm. You think we're in Europe this time? Yeah. Okay, well, maybe head down the road to see if you can find uh, a shop or a market or a junction or something like that. You know, maybe there's like a... I think this is back the way you came, probably, isn't it, actually? This looks like the end of the road. This is back, I think, to where we were, isn't it? Yeah, so this is, this is where we started. Okay. All right. Oh, good. One day. Um... <laughs> Do you want me to be on mouse duty and you can... Um, no, no, no. You can... Or are you quite enjoying it? Yeah, I am, yes. Have you ever visited this place? I don't think so. No, I, I, I don't think so either. It's obviously building a lot of stuff. Though. Look up here. What's that say? Four. Four point five. Hmm. That's height. Yeah, but it's in um, meters, or is it meters? Yeah. yeah, so it's metric as opposed to imperial, I would assume. Uh, what do you think? Mm. All right, I'm going to put you. A t I'll put, put a time limit on you. So head down this road. I'm going to give you another minute here before you have to pick somewhere at random. What does that say on it? Scroll in on that that thing. See those words there? Scroll in on. Oh, what, are you, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Ah. <laughs> <sighs> uh. Uh, yes. Would you like me to help you? No, you're okay. Right. Okay. You're, you're you're being a detective. Let's hear like from the mind of Sherlock Holmes what you think. Um, I should say it's a European country. Okay, you're thinking Europe, not Canada. No. Right. Or not Australia. No, not or Australia. not South Africa. No. Okay. You know because it's sort of slightly overcast. Uh, well, I think the style of the houses are oh, the strange style. All right. And all this stuff lying around. Very untidy. <laughs> Does that mean it's European? Uh, it could be one of the... Yes. Poor European countries. Okay. But I've not a clue, really. No idea. Let's have a look at this car. Kind of hard to tell, isn't it? Hmm. I'm sorry, I'm very impatient with you, Dad. This is what happens when a, when a son watches his dad struggle with a video game. Go well, on, uh, you see, the, th the fact is there are so many countries uh, around the world. Uh, it's difficult to pinpoint from yeah. any particular thing unless there's anything that gives it away. Let's have, a, let's have a wander down this road, shall we, and see if we can find anything down here. So you know, they're fairly smart, those houses. They are, aren't they? Um, see, here's a more built-up road. As opposed to road. some, which are not very smart at all. Now, this is a, a more built-up road, but what's this over here? Factory. See what I mean? It's something strange, isn't it? What do you, you gone? Was there something on the wall here, by the way? Oh, maybe. So scroll with the mouse, it's wheel, to zoom in or out. I know, it's it's tough. You'll learn. No, that's not it. Yeah. Oh, it does, there is a sign there, isn't there? But it's very hard to read. Yeah, I, can't I have no read idea what that all. says. No. Not much help. No, it's no help. So you have to scroll back out. Okay. Would you like to make a guess? Or do you want to keep searching? Um, <laughs> ah. Hmm. I suppose I could have a guess. <laughs> Go on then. 
I would think it's probably... Um, Whereabouts? Somewhere in Eastern Europe. Right, what are you going to say? Probably... Let's go for Czechoslovakia. What well, doesn't exist anymore? It's the Czech Republic. Yeah, the Czech Republic. Well, it's all right. So. All right. Whereabouts the Czech Republic? Oh, I have no idea. Just slap bang in the middle. Somewhere in the middle. Well, don't be careful. You might be in... Oh, there's Slovakia. That's a new one, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, well, it's... Yeah, I should say one or the other, because it was, of course, one country. You've got to put it, put it somewhere on the somewhere border. In, somewhere in Czechoslovakia. Or okay, we're going to guess that. And the actual answer is in Russia. Russia? It was actually, Dad, outside Ekaterinburg. My goodness. Who goodness. knew? In a place called Revda. I guess they're building some new houses there. They had some potatoes being farmed. Well, you got it. you know what? Bearing in mind, you didn't see any alphabet. You didn't see any signs. You didn't see any lettering. That was pretty good, Dad. That was. I wasn't good at all. Well, do you know well, what? I mean, I was guessing the wrong continent. I was miles away so. from where, where we. I could have looked. You looked, took a circle around there. My goodness. Yeah, but Dad. Encompass about 50 countries. Yeah, but if you'd still guessed Russia, you still would have been miles away. Look how deep in Russia it is. It's very. Uh, and I'm sure there are lots of places in Russia which are quite different to that in any case. Okay, now. Okay, let's have a look. We've got there. a brand new place here, and it's completely different. And very fuzzy, apparently. Uh. The road certainly is a bit bit more built up, isn't it? Oh, sorry. So shrink that map down by clicking the little arrow up there. The, the one there, yeah, click that. And then click it again. All right, okay. So now you can have a look around. All right, and I'll leave you I'll leave you to have a look around. Do you want a drink or anything? Uh, no, not at the moment, thanks. Fine. Okay. <laughs> Fine. I was going to go and get you a drink. Do you want a snack? No. Nothing? Nothing. Oh, well, in that case, I'm not going anywhere then. Um, mm. What's your immediate thoughts, Dad? Which country do you think we're in? I would say that we're definitely in Europe again. Mm hmm. Oh, what's that? It's. Um, what does that sign say over there? Petrol station. Zoom in. With the scroll wheel. So, 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 yeah, so, so, okay, yeah, so zoom in on that with the scroll wheel. So, scroll wheel up, zooms in. It's quite slow. <laughs> For God's sakes, how are you still. Okay, you're, good, you're scrolling the wrong way. Scroll that. Okay, what does that look like it says? It's very hard to tell. Hmm, so it is. It looks like something like, I don't know, could say anything, couldn't it? God. What is this? Is this a petrol station? So it is a gas station. A uh, gas station. Yes. It's certainly very foreign looking, isn't it? To us, anyway. Mm. We are out in the sticks here, aren't we? Certainly are. So scroll back, because you're zoomed in too far. Okay, and then you can pan around the road and drive up the road. So have a, have a drive down this road. So you... There you go. Hmm. So if you, if you prefer, you can just click the arrow in the middle of the road to take you up and down it, if, if that's easier. Google Street View, everyone. Wow, look at this place. Look at all that dirt. Red dirt. Yes. You asked for this, everyone. You asked for this. Just put it out there. It's going to slowly drive me insane, but... It's already driving me insane, but... I'm just going to... I'm just going to let him... I'm just going to let him carry on. Hmm. You don't have to look so miserable, Dad. Well, uh, <laughs> we've suddenly got to away from the buildings. <laughs> oh, now what's this? It's a building. Hmm. Look at this beautiful landscape. It is, isn't it? Oh, 
keeps spinning us around. That's really annoying, isn't it? No, I want to get... Ah, okay. Somewhere in North America again. There was a sign behind you, actually. But I think it was just a, a road sign as opposed to a anything useful. Telegraph poles. A stop sign. It's a yellow sign there. Yeah. Enhance. Zoom and enhance. Is that the sign? Yeah. It's just a, it looks like a yellow a yellow um mm. Come on, where am I? I'm not doing anything, I'm just gonna I'm just going to let you struggle with Google Street View. I mean, honestly, you're doing better than I expected. That's very kind to say so. Hmm. This is all you've got no, to go off I this side. I think that must be, must be Europe, not America. You're now thinking Europe, are you? Yeah, I think so. I've never seen a sign like that in Europe. You haven't. Have you? Well, I've never seen a sign like that in America. Have you seen roads like this in Europe? Well, yes, I have seen roadside Europe. I can't say that I've seen one quite like that. So it's probably one of the unusual countries in Europe that hasn't got round to putting EU-type, um, you know, EU-type signs up. Because okay. every EU country has to put the same sort of sign up, don't they? Yeah, that's true. Do you not... Well, I mean, look, look where could it be? We could be... We haven't seen any people for a start. We've been deserted, isn't it? It could be it's back. It's a back road, backwater somewhere. Look at this mountainous area. We're about yes, to Europe. It could be talking. somewhere like Albania, I suppose. Yeah, but look how red and strange it is here. Red uh, sandstone. Yeah. All right. Where are you going to guess? I'll I'll help you with the guessing. I think it's probably. You reckon Albania? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Oh, I think you're wrong, but we'll find out, won't we? <laughs> Uh, Albania, down here. Yeah. It's too, it's too drab for Albania. It looks colder than that. We're going with Albania. We reckon. Yep. Yeah. Right. Bam. I bet it's in the US. Boom. It's in Oregon. Oregon. <laughs> you got nine points. You were on completely the other side of the world. Yeah. Unfortunately, it's near Portland. Wow. Oh, oh well. Wow. There you are. There yes, you go, I Dad. Suppose, that was I that was an unfortunate to, fail. Ought to recognise the blue telephone kiosk. But now, now I think about it. Oh, you remember seeing the blue telephone kiosk? No. Yeah, it was. No, well, you recognise that. By the did gas you? station. Oh, no. I mean that gas station is not like anything we've seen in Europe, is it? Yeah. Well, it's not like Europe, but I mean, if you think of uh, out the outback, Oregon is probably a bit of the outback. Uh, it's it's obviously going to be. <laughs> Where are we now? Uh, well said. They are obviously. I don't know what sort. It could be any sort. You better come in. You're going off the camera a bit, Dad. Actually, so come, come, move your chair over just slightly. Come here. Come here. You. There we go. All right.
again, mm. you have two controls, okay? The click and the wheel. The wheel zooms in and out, and the click takes you to places and lets you... Okay. What do these represent? Well, they are, by the looks of it, post boxes there. Yeah, that's right, post boxes. So it's clear that someone lives here. So obviously... Oh my god. A dirt road, eh? Right, what are you trying to do? I'm trying Tell to... Tell me your thought process. I'm trying to... I want to know what's going on in that head of yours. I want to go up there. Well, you can't because the Google car clearly hasn't gone up there. You can either go left or ah, right. that's why it's not letting me go up there, then. Yes. Ah. Ah, thank you for telling me that. Well, I mean, I am right here. <laughs> it's a terribly deserted place, Lewis, isn't Tell it? Tell me about it. Sort of a deserty. Straight road. Very reminiscent of America, again. America? Some parts of America. Have you been to America? No, but I've, I've just seen films of the straight roads. You've been to the Americas, though. You went to Costa Rica, didn't you? Yeah, but that's, um, that's Central America. Oh, yeah, look at that. Look at that weather vane. That's what I want on Oil Town, one of those. Not weather vane, that, that. See that? Oh, what was that? Go, go back. Oh, there was a sign there. Oh, I think it said, like, it said something. Where? Go, go to the left one. Go click on that left arrow. Oh. What's that sign say? So oh. you need to, when you, when you, when you, when you want to zoom in on something, you scroll the mouse wheel, okay? Right. I know we've been through this. Then. Okay, so now now scroll the mouse wheel. Okay, the other way. Deep Creek Farm. All right, that's where we are. We're at Deep Creek Farm. Well, how does that help you? Uh, it looks as though either America or Australia. Now, what do you think we should do? I'm going to make a guess. Yeah, and where do you think Deep Creek Farm might be? Uh, somewhere in Australia. I've just Googled it, and it could be anywhere of 50 different places. It could be, I suppose, yeah. All right. Well, click on the map uh, and make it bigger. You need to click it with the mouse. Come on. <laughs> and make it bigger. Okay. And, and where do you think we are? Don't click make guess, for goodness sake. So... Somewhere Australia. Right. You reckon we're in Australia? Mm -hmm. Right. Hit make guess then. Go for it. Bam! We're in America. We we're actually in Texas? Yeah, it looks like it. Scroll in. Texas. We're in the middle of Texas. Who Who knew that? No one. No one in chat knew that. They were convinced we were in Australia or um, somewhere else as well. They were convinced as well, Dad. Mm, yeah. I like how your first instinct was South Africa as well. It was, yeah. Um, similar landscape. Well, the last two rounds have gone terribly badly. Uh, so the fo hit play next round and we'll do a final round of this. This is the, this is the decider. Okay, let's see if we can do any better. Right. 
And what is that over there? I have no idea what that even is. Do you know what that is? No. Lots of um, containers. Do you reckon? It looks like sheep or something, doesn't it? But colourful ones. Uh, Why is it so multicoloured? Or it could be like a cemetery, couldn't it? Good gracious, I hope not. Um, they look like boxes. Yes. Yes. So... <sighs> oh. Well, it goes to church, so I guess it's a cemetery. Hmm. So, click the arrow once. Alright, now... No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is no, so painful. This is so painful. I want to come back. I, I can't. I can't handle. I can't take this any longer. Thank oh God, dear. this is the last round. Sorry about that. It's okay, Dad. Look. Okay. I've got to guess where this is. I'm gonna burst. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to burst. Oh, go on. Off you go. Go on, then. <laughs> no, I don't need the loo. I'm going to burst this in. This is so frustrating watching you do this. <sighs> Good grief. Mm. Oh. Yes, okay. Give me it. All right, okay. We'll, 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 have, we'll, have, a, we'll have a team effort. I definitely say that this was... Um Again, somewhere. In it's America. somewhere. That's where it is, in Dad. There is definitely a signpost here, okay? That's right. And it says some stuff on it, but it's kind of blurred, so we can't really read it. I don't know why they, why, why they blur out such details, but they do. Let's head down this road, okay? Yeah. So that's definitely a cemetery, isn't it? That's where we started. Look at it. It's definitely a cemetery. Headstones and flowers. There's a red fire hydrant there. Do you see that? Mm -hmm. And this is the West McCreary Fire and Rescue. Oh, well. Where do you think West McCreary is? West McCreary. Somewhere in America. Sounds like it could be America, doesn't it? Yeah. Let's have a guess. One of the southern, southern states. We can do a, a, a GeoGuessr that's based in the UK only, and that might be more interesting to you, I think. But I thought that this would take us to more interesting places in the world than it has done. Uh, these I are, think... Um, what is it? Uh, one of the states. Which one? I don't know. Pick one. Uh, you did a good job, Dad. You did a good job. Uh, somewhere over on the West Virginia. West Virginia. Right, we're doing it here. McCreary. It is actually pretty close. It's actually in Kentucky. Kentucky. There you go. There you go. In, right here in Kentucky. Yeah, it's... It's not even on the map, this West McCreary. To be a fairly well so wooded small. area. So that wasn't bad, Dad. So in summary, uh, you were pretty close on a couple, but... Not fantastic in no, general. No, no, no. I mean, it's ridiculous when you think it's Australian. It's actually in America. Uh, we could just. We should have maybe done the famous places. That probably would have been better rather than just completely random. Would you like to do UK or London, or would you like to do famous places? <laughs> famous places. Uh, it's a bit different to London. Let's do some famous places. So where? Uh, where is this? Oh, well, that's the clue, isn't it? Yeah, it's pretty obvious. <laughs> <laughs> I think we know where that is, don't uh, we, Dad? Only because the name's there. 
I wouldn't have actually recognised the style of the building. Stockholm. Yeah. Now, whereabouts in Stockholm is it? That's the question. Oh, well, let's see. I mean, let's have a look at the building. Some sort of uh, observatory. Let's swap over, and then I can control the mouse. It's an observatory. You, 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 sw you sit here, okay. and I'll sit on the other side. And then we'll... You're right. Yeah. All right, good. We're switching. <laughs> You're right. Oh dear. You've been demoted to assistant. Okay. From chief game I, player. I, I've got to do the getters. You've got to do the. the yeah, I'll do the. I'll, I'll drive, and you can you can tell me where you think we are. Um. So I think I think we know where we're well, somewhere uh, in the centre of yes, Stockholm, yes, aren't we? Yes, so I just yes. plonk us down here, and and that'll be the best guess. There you go. Well, actually, it was on the south of the city. Who knew? Uh, but yeah, I think that was pretty accurate. Comparatively, we got a lot of points for that one. Yeah, of course, we did. We actually saw the name. Okay, That's so not now. fair, you know, really putting the names on. I mean, it's. Where are we now? Where are we now? Where do you think this is? Oh, wow, now you can't see. <laughs> so we switched over and now we're too see. far I can, away. I can well, see. Well, yes. we'll have to swap back if you can't see. No, I can. You're standing on my cable as well. Oh, this is just okay. a disaster. It's all right. <laughs> 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 Come on, switch on to the name. Oh, for God's sake. All right, you go, you go back here. We're just going to tangle ourselves up. It's fine. You go back here and we'll handle it. I think, I think do you know what? I think this will be a lot easier since I think, um, I think you should know where we are, right? You should be able to see where we are right now at a glance. That's okay. I know where we are. Um. Have you been here? You probably haven't, have you? It's remarkably like the Eiffel Tower. Well, it is, isn't it? I wonder why. Whereabouts is there an Alpha Tower in the world? Yeah, there's only in one. Paris. Well, no, there's, there's a couple, isn't there? Where else did they put another Eiffel Tower? Canada. No. Come on, you. Come here, come here. get on the camera. You're not... <laughs> the worst... The worst... Ah, uh, the worst dad ever. So where else... What else do you think might be in this place? What does that look like to you? What do these look like? What's this, Dad, here? What does that say? Oh, goodness me. What does Caesar's that say? Caesar's Palace. Caesar's Palace? Do you mean saying he got a model, uh, sorry, a, a copy of the Eiffel Tower in Las Vegas then? Yeah, of course they have, Dad. I mean, I haven't been there, so I wouldn't know. Look what at is, that. Good gracious. Yeah, this is the Strip, Dad. The Las Vegas Strip. The Strip? That's what it's called. No, I've never been. You've never been? No. I went to Vegas with Minecon. Ah, yes, I know. People who have been say how good it is. As long as you don't lose too much money. Yeah, it's beautiful. Look at that. It's not as big as the real one. It's like a third size, I think, or something like mm. that, isn't it? So you know exactly where we are. Where are we, Dad? Go on. America. So whereabouts in America? Oh, uh, somewhere sort of northwest. Northwest? You don't know where Las Vegas is? Come on, you know where it is, don't you? Come on. <laughs> it's in uh, the, Oregon. It's in the New Mexico desert, isn't it? Somewhere? No, no, it's further north or is than it that. Every, oh, there it is. It's Nevada. Nevada desert. Ah, oh, yes. There we go. That's Vegas. So where's, whereabouts is the strip? I think it's down here on Paradise somewhere, isn't it? So they have this separate sort of area of Las Vegas called Paradise where all of the uh, rules don't apply. Oh, right. It's a slightly different... So here's the win. Here's Caesar's Palace. So I'm guessing we're about... about here. Bam. Right next door. Perfect. Hmm. Perfect. Paris, Las Vegas. There you go. Even says it. You, uh, you've, have you been? I've been. I've been there. Mm. It's a lovely place. Right, where are we now, Dad? Where on earth are we now? This is going to show how cultured we are or not cultured at all. What does this look like to you? Somewhere in the Middle East. Does it? Yeah. Somewhere in the Middle East. Yep. Well, I've, do you know what? We don't actually have any uh, ability to move here. We can only turn around. So what Google have done is they've set up a tripod. Mm -hmm. They've done a 3D panoramic picture. But we can't go anywhere from here. No, it's either, well, it could be, I don't know, possibly Mexico. 
Middle East, Mexico. What do you think, Dad? Do you, do you need me to zoom in on anything in I particular? I think it's Mexico. You think it's Mexico? You think this is a pyramid, do you? They did have pyramids as such, did they? But they, they, had, they had fairly big structures. What was it? The, uh, what civilization? Mm. The Mayans, the Incas, yes, it the was Aztecs. Mayans. Mayans, I think. You think we're in old, uh, old Peru or somewhere, do you? No, well, no. Or Mexico. Mexico. You're thinking Mexico, all right. We're going to go with your thing. Whereabouts in Mexico, do you think? Oh. Down here somewhere? Yucatan Peninsula? Not sure. I wouldn't know, but... Um... Tell me where to put the, put the dropper. In the sea. No, 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 not in the sea. Put it there. So. Is that going to do? Is that what do you? As good as any. All right, we're going to make a guess there. And it's actually in Jordan. Shit. Really? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I, my uh, first thought was Jordan. Your first? Well, well, why Jordan, didn't you tell no, me your first my thought? My first thought was the Middle East. Well, that's true. Um, and maybe we should have gone with that. Yeah. Well, that was a, a bit of an epic fail, wasn't it? It was, really. Um, oh, OK, where are we now? Hang on a second. I think this looks quite familiar. Might not be there. Oh no, look. Polizia. That looks Italian to me. It okay. is Italy, yeah. Where it's about? St. Mark's Square. It's St. Mark's Square in Italy. Mm. Okay, cool. Uh, where is that? In which, in, is that in Rome? In Rome, yeah. Okay. Where's St. Mark's Square? Do you remember? Oh, it's on the uh, left hand side of the river. That's what I thought. Maybe wrong, of course. But I'm sure. Maybe it isn't. Let's just slap it down here, and we'll see. It's somewhere around here. We're going with that. Bam! You're absolutely right. It was just. In fact, it is exactly there. You're right. Exactly on that. Mm. that that's where we are now. Look, that's that's the building we were that's looking right. at. Yeah. So we were here in this open plaza, the Plaza San Pietro. San Pietro, San Peter. What a dad! You just you just wrecked me. Um, oh. Dad, we're up in the air. Where are we? Where on earth are we here? Uh, they've done a panoramic picture from up in the flipping sky. Where are we, Dad? You tell me. There's a footbridge. There's a castle oh, there. Look uh, at that. This is, um, Look how beautiful that is. This is uh, somewhere, I think, Czechoslovakia. Prague. Beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, it could be anywhere like that. It could be could be somewhere in Croatia or with an ancient old European castle. Yeah. Look at that. Does that look familiar? No, I, I don't know. I've, I've it been. Sort of does look I, familiar to me? I, I get. I mean that bridge. Hmm. I like it. I like it a lot. Um. I'd my guess is Prague. All right, we're going with your. Well, I'm glad you're here because I wouldn't be able to guess these otherwise. What is Prague? What city is Prague in? Czech, Czech. Republic. Mm. Have you ever been to Prague? No. No, but you're guessing Prague. It is in fact in Prague. Mm. You were correct. Wow, very nice, Dad. Very nice. Well, well done. You were three. We were we were exactly in the right city. Perfect. Perfect. Oh, you're having a, you're having a good. That was a good one. I think you. I think you made up. So look at that. We got four of them dead on, mm. and one of them dead wrong. But man, that was pretty good actually. That 
was pretty good. Well done. Uh, it's one of the places I think I'd like to visit. Oh, yeah. I've uh, never been. You've been to a lot of places, haven't you? Well, yes, but um, not many capitals. No. You've not been to too Rome. Much been to Rome. Eastern um, Europe. Been to Greece, you've been to Spain and Portugal, haven't you? Mm. Been to Egypt, you saw the pyramids, didn't you? No, no, I haven't seen the pyramids. I thought you saw the pyramids when you were in Egypt. No. Oh, you went down the Nile, though? Yeah. You ever been to Japan or China or Asia at all? <laughs> no. Never been to Asia. <laughs> been to New Zealand, haven't you? Yes, yes. Oh, that'd be crap. Well, so we've done that. Oh, it wasn't so many as I thought then. How many did we do? We did five. five. We just did them a lot quicker because we mm. recognised them. Mm. Um, we can do another one if you like. And, we'll, and I'll, we, while we're doing another one, uh, I can read out some donations. Okay, so you can you can have the mouse back, and I'll I'll read some donations, shall I? Okay. All right. You'll, you, hopefully, you'll be able to figure out how to how to do this from now on. But it should be a bit simpler. Because you won't have to walk around too much, all right? You're gonna be okay there. Just don't worry about this. Cool. Good luck. Although this might not actually be as simple as you think. Um, boom. So we're doing this for the Yogscast Jingle Jam 2015. Uh, <laughs> so. <laughs> So, Zoom, you don't need to be... So, scroll the wheel back. Okay, just... And then look around. So, look up. So, drag up. Drag yourself up. Okay. There you go, look. Where are we? We're obviously in some... Probably some American national park, aren't we? Yellowstone or... Uh, somewhere like that. I think. Although, I don't know. Where do you think we are? There's some fat tourists there, so it's definitely America. No offence, America. But, come on. <laughs> uh, yes, it looks uh, unfamiliar to me, but it's obviously some park. Are you saying, Lewis? Where they get some better view from... Thank you to Bankrupt Billionaire. Hi lads, love in the streams, even if I can't catch them all. Have some cash. Thank you. Rick. To Lenny, five me. Elmo, all the dank memes. Thank you, Rick. Uh, Max Slice and the Bonster. Season's greeting from Australia. Come tour our beautiful snake and spider infested country. So much fun watching the streams this year at 3 a.m. Still totally worth it. We didn't actually get Australia. Oh, wow. You figured out where we are. <laughs> definitely, de definitely somewhere in America. Wherever you know what that is, don't you? Wherever they are. Um, What's that called? Well, it's the... Um, yes. I've forgotten the name. So, Mount Rushmore... Mount Rushmore, ...was yeah. built and half finished. That's why they don't have the bodies. And you mm -hmm. see that big pile of scree there in front yes. of that big rock pile? Yeah. That was left over from when they were built. And they, they didn't have enough funding to do it, you see. <laughs> and so it's all it's a completely unfinished, this thing. We've got one, two, three, you can see four. They managed to get like a couple of the faces done. Yeah. And then, now where is, now is, where is it? I think, you know, I think it's in either Washington State or somewhere like that. It's, it's up in the northwest. I, I, I can't remember. Whereabouts is it? Oh uh, no, it might I... be in, it might be up in, it might be up in flipping somewhere like Dakota, South Dakota. Do you remember? It was like one of the only tourist attractions up, up that way in America. <laughs> okay. So you're going to find South... We're going to guess... I, if, I seem to remember it's in somewhere like South Dakota. I might be wrong. So go and find South Dakota and click on that. All right? Uh, you have to zoom in, Dad, with the mouse wheel. So mouse wheel zooms you in and out, remember? That... Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, you'll find it. Good luck. Latex, Nantex, keep up the amazing work. Thank you. Uh, Gibson, Gibson X from the Czech Republic. Love you guys. We've just been to the Czech Republic. It was nice there. We just had a look. Clyde, Papa48, 
be watching the Yogs since before the Yogs. Cheers, Clyde. Pascus. Um, that's a good idea, but we're not going to do it. Thank you. Horex, says Pogchamp. Uh, day, donating for the man, the myth, the legend. Old man Brindley. Uh, you struggling to find South Dakota. Uh, it's, it's just, you're getting close. Uh, sc- scroll out a little bit. Zoom, zoom out a tiny bit, Dad. And we'll North or south? Just zoom out. Zo- okay, and a bit more. And it's up. Uh, it's over there, you see? South Dakota. So South Dakota. Yeah. So zoom, zoom in there. It's brilliant. Now, where is Mount Rushmore? Mm-hmm. Where do you think? Right, you can have a guess. Aaron, love everything you guys do. Keep up the good work. Thank you, Aaron. Winter Sandoval. Free games are a great excuse to support you guys in mental health. Like a lot of Yognauts, you guys helped me through some tough times with social anxiety. But on a more positive note, it's my birthday. So, happy birthday, Winter Sandoval. You're a great guy. Uh, uh, sure. Uh, it, it, it's the, this is the third time I today. First time... Uh, to get the Humble Bundle earlier today because I lost a bet and now I lost a second bet but it goes to a good cause couldn't be happier thank you Gelinator Merry Christmas you guys keep up the good work cheers uh, Musa Mus- Musawi Dad what is your favourite fruit? Favourite fruit? Yeah I know it's a tough question it's Nectarine Nectarine there you go you heard it here first no name provided glad to be part of things cool the last Chico 20 for your dad uh, Mark Vella, greetings from Malta. You ever been to Malta? No. Oh, no. Yes, yes. Yes. Have yes. What was it like? Yeah, it's very nice. Very nice in Malta. Very Lots nice. Of nice sunshine. Heather, Mizuatsi, uh, loved the stream with your dad last year. Loving it this year. Thanks for the wisdom. Uh, cheers for Canada. Indeed, went there first, didn't we? Uh, Merry Christmas from No Name Provided. Thank you very much. Just go and click anywhere. You're going to click there. Bam. <laughs> Make guess. Bam. Very close. Very close indeed. Ah, it's not close, Lewis. It's miles away. Close enough. You didn't know where it was. You were just... I know. I had a guess. <laughs> so, all right. Play next round. It was in the Black Hills National Forest. Who knew? Not me. All right. Where are we now? I'll let you have a peek around. Um, Perkinen has donated a hundo. Hundo this year. Hundo last year. Dad, can you say Hundo. Hondo. Can you say Hondo like in a celebratory way? Hondo. No, like in a like happy, like a cheer, like a football cheer. Hondo. Exactly. All right. Good. Better. Hondo. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just do it. Uh, Mike says your dad is best, Ted. Thank you. Uh, there's a Hondo from Cassie and Christian. Would you like to say Hondo again? Me? Yeah. Hondo. Okay. Good. <laughs> Patrick Murtagh. Wait a minute, wait a minute. What, what am I shouting? You're shouting hundo as in hundred. Someone donated a hundred dollars to the charity. Oh, right. So when Remember. I'm making you shout hundo, that's because someone has donated a hundred bucks. Wow, that's great. We're nearly at 800,000 bucks, Dad. Great. You'll be glad to know. Great. Do you reckon we're going to get there before the end of the stream? Well, I hope so. How are you going to get us there? I don't have to shout hundo a dozen times. Well, I will make you shout hundo if someone donates a hundo, but what, can you just tell people who are watching, just see that camera there? Yeah. Tell people why they should donate to charity. Sure, because there's so many th- desperately needed things in the world. That's right. So I we're mean, raising money for... I mean, apart from people, the animals, you read today in today's paper, that the, uh, the mountain gorillas have been decimated. Yeah, and that's what Flora and Fauna International are actually doing this year. I agree. Um, So that's one of the charities on our list. I'm pleased about that. I think it's a good charity. They do good work. Oh, thanks. Um, What is that there in front of you? It looks like the Colossus... The The Colosseum. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. Looks like it. It does, doesn't it? I don't know whether it's a make-believe one. It's kind of weird because those trees look a bit out of place, don't they? Well, this and also, I thought the Colosseum was sort of in the middle of Rome. Yes, I know. This is a, this is a, must be a, another one similar. It isn't as big as a Colosseum. It's not, is it? No. So it's somewhere but else. It is a Colosseum. Where else? Some description. 
part of the ex-Roman Empire. Um, Patrick Murtard, thank you very much. Sylvestris. Hi Lewis, I'll be watching donating the streams every year since they started, but unfortunately I lost my job and had to get a job working nights in a warehouse. It's meant that I've been able to watch any of the streams, or for an hour at most. This is going to be one of the first ones I get to watch fully, and luckily it's one of my favourites from last year. On the plus side, my shitty job means I can afford to donate. Anyway, your father is a fascinating man, and now we all know where it all comes from. Uh, what does that say? Get your mouse out of the way. Oh, it's Greek. Is that Greek? No. <laughs> uh, what do you think? Scroll in a bit more. With the with the with is that was it a uh, max scroll? I think you were at max. Oh, there you go. I think it could be. Oh, what's that say? Oh, there you go. It's definitely um, look up on the top Hostel left there. Hostelary al gladiatori. Gladiatori. See, look at this sign on the left, see, Burberry sign. You see that says, mm. Noel Condotti Lorenzo in Lucina. Well, this must be Italy. Yeah, all right, we'll go for Italy. Um, you can go for but wherever you it want. It isn't Rome. It's not Rome. No, it probably isn't. I don't think it's Rome. It doesn't look big enough to be Rome. Where's the other place in Italy where it would be? You, you just handle it. Uh, okay, cool. Uh, Sylvestris, thank you very much. Jack Edward Smith, question for Lewis's dad. What was it like living under the Empire? Great. Was it? Yeah. We had no worries. We didn't have lots of immigrants to worry about. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was, it was uh, a different life. I mean, the style of life was very different. We had no television. You learnt things by the radio and reading the newspaper. Um, you know, it's impossible, really, for people who are younger to appreciate how different it is. I mean, not anyone had a car, no one had telephones. Um, it's just amazing how different the world is nowadays. Internet, hmm. well, crumbs <laughs> hadn't been invented. Um, what you do with this wire? You don't need to hold on to this. Relax. Yeah, it's just keeping my foot from pulling it away. Um, really quite amazing. Uh, what Did you see the Crystal Palace before it burned down? No. Okay. Uh, Natalie and Brett. <laughs> it doesn't feel like Christmas until we watch the Yolks Cast stream. Thank you, uh, Mr. Brindley. Uh, Joe. Uh, Merry Christmas from Joe. Hi, my name is Jeffrey. Hi, guys. Thanks for everything. Thank you very much. Uh, Genesis, Genesis Sect. Thank you very much. Had to get up early to see Lewis and Dad. How's it going? You're putting it on Sicily, are you? Yeah, I've decided that it isn't Sicily. I'm just going to move it. Okay. If I can. You just click somewhere else and it will move it. Okay. Uh, Zoom in. Whereabouts in Italy is that you've picked? Uh, You're not even going to pick a I city. I don't think it's there. I think it's further north. You think it's going to be somewhere like Milan or Turin around Somewhere there? up there, Right, yeah. make a guess and let's find out. Yeah. Let's stop keeping us in suspense all this time. Well, it was in Florence. Oh. oh, no, it was in Rome. It was in Rome. It was the. It was probably a part of the Colosseum in Rome, I would guess. Oh, wow. You guessed Florence. Hmm. Well, it was, it was, it was Rome, please. Um... It is the one in Rome. It's just heavily under construction, says someone in So, town. what? The, it must be the air. I mean, I don't remember the road. Uh, yeah, press press, press play next round. You've been there, have you? Yes. Oh, where are we now? What does this look like to you? Oh, you can walk around the castle, Dad. Oh, it looks fantastic, doesn't it? Um, well, it has to be Europe, doesn't it? Because this kind of stuff just doesn't exist in America. No. I'll tell you where I think this may be. Go on, then. Rhodes. The island of Rhodes. Okay. I mean, you can have a bit more of a walk around if you want, but... There's some people taking pictures themselves, selfies. All those people <laughs> selfieing themselves. Uh, Jenny, finally got my salary so I can donate. So, 
if you make that map smaller, you can carry on walking around. Yeah, so just just you can probably even go in, Dad, if you want. You can queue up if you want, I guess. Look at that. That's tremendous. Yes. Um... In you go. Go on. Nope, nope, nope. So, so click the arrow to no, go. To... You're zooming in. Click the arrow. Now zoom back out again. Okay, so the, the, the mouse wheel only zooms in and out on your current picture. Right. Okay, anywhere else will move you around. So click and drag to move. All right. You'll get it, I promise. Yeah. Well, now it's sort of a dead end, bizarrely. And we go back to the other side. Look at all these people selfieing themselves. That's what it's like these days. Okay, Lewis. Uh... Brent. Mr. Brindley, when people in North America hear the phrase proper English gentleman, you are what they imagine. You hear that, Dad? Hey, she said that? You're a proper English gentleman. <laughs> uh, well, I haven't been called that before. Ma, thank you for the thank great Thank you reason. very much for that. Proper English gentleman. Right. Shin. Nice. Sir Shin has donated. Good day. Good day. Yamina, uh, unlike the last few years, I've only been around to catch a few of the streams. However, I'm certain that a lot of hard work went into every night, and I thank everyone involved. Yeah, you had to get the train down. You had to try and use a mouse. And you, like, it's much, very complicated, I know. So, you zoom in and out. Uh, you all get it, honestly. By the end of this stream, I swear that you will have mastered the art of zooming in and out using a mouse wheel. Have you got a mouse wheel on the mouse at home? Have you ever used a mouse wheel before? Are uh, you talking to me? Yes. Uh, yes, I have. Okay. <laughs> how how has it been? How has your experience been? Not good, really. Okay. Uh, is that Rhodes? Mm. That is definitely Rhodes, isn't it? I don't know. I, I, I think it is. Yeah, I think that's Rhodes. It was actually in Portugal. Oh, really? Who knew? Who knew? Well, well. I had no idea. Uh... Hmm. It was uh, somewhere in Portugal. Mediterranean, at least, vaguely. Yeah, uh, just On about. the same parallel, more An or old less. hillside fort, maybe. Yeah. Well, yeah. well, I was surprised about that. Thank you to Lee. Thank you to Ben Young. Thank you to Rick Vetstein. Too Dutch to pronounce properly. Uh, finally, Mr. Brindley is back. The man who fell from the roof. I told them about that. Did you? Yeah, the man who was once Weird. nodded to oh. by Prince Charles while Lewis was ignored. Dear me. Do you remember when Prince Charles nodded to you? <laughs> oh, yes, he did. That's right. Yeah. It really is amazing seeing this fabled man live on stream. Uh, it's very welcoming to watch a slower-than-usual stream with two gentlemen sharing stories. Well, we know where this is, don't we? No. Don't we? Do you know where it is? Uh, I, I don't like, know where it is. Guess, a lot of people, though, isn't there? I guess this is Rome. It's Rome again. Yeah. A lot of highlights in Rome, isn't there? Hmm. Yes. Look at those smiling fellas on that billboard. <laughs> <laughs> is that Berlusconi? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't think so. He was sent to prison. They're he? advertising Nutella. Gelati. Pizza. Yeah. They're actually that is actually a Nutella advert by the looks. But it's called Virginio Pasquale. Yeah. Maybe there's two different types of Nutella? Possibly, I don't know. I thought there's only one type, but um, we only get one type in England. It's apparently the Trevi Fountain. Do you know where that is? Yes, Rome. Rome then. Alright, go and click on it and we'll we'll get out of here. Look at that guy's big bald head. <laughs> uh... Slap in the middle. Uh, thank you very much. Magnus, thank you for donating. Uh, Cajoled has donated. Hannah's Advent Candor always gets me in the Christmas mood. I love the Jingle Jam December. Thank you very much. This is going great. This stream is going great. I'm glad that someone suggested GeoGuessr. It's, it's a great choice of game. Boom. You were eight miles out, but that's pretty good, Dad. I'll give you that. Well done. Uh, click the next one. If there's another round, there should be another round or two. 
We are on the last round. Where are we now? Some wonderful building. With bins out the front of it. Uh, Kaz, thank you for your donation. Anonymous has donated a hundo, Dad. Oh, yeah. hundo! That's <laughs> from Hundo! <laughs> We're getting there. We're getting towards the $800,000 goal. Oh, wait. Yeah. Splendid. Uh, thank you to Bradley. Uh, Dylan Bilson. Dad, could you say to the camera yep. uh, a message that someone will have on their alarm? So they're going to wake up in the morning. They want to get woken up by your smooth English voice. So. You mean you really want me to say, wakey, wakey? That's right. Could you do a bit, bit more? Wakey, wakey! <laughs> <laughs> okay. I like it. You can clip that. Uh... George, uh, thank you, George. Uh, Powell, Silent Kebab says, "Nice to see your shirt ironed." And he's also donated a hundo, Dad. So you have to say hundo. Hundo. That's right. Hundo. Hundo. Okay, good. You're getting it. You're getting into the mood of a hundo. <laughs> uh, Tom McCahan, I wait till today to donate so Lewis can mispronounce my surname. Exactly a year since last time. Whoops. Sorry, Tom. Tom McCahan. Tom McCahan, maybe, or Tom McCahan, or who knows. Uh, James Brennan, wishing you all yogs a merry, merry Christmas. Uh, Zara has made some Rudolph cupcakes and sent us a picture of them. That is lovely. Uh, I would totally go on a date with you, Lewis Jr., but... I'm, my dad's name isn't Lewis as well, but I would be afraid that you would be allergic. Get the joke? I'm not sure I do get the joke. Um, <laughs> what would I be allergic to? Uh, thank you for the Rudolph cupcakes. Anon, donating again since Lewis and dad's stream is always legit. Um, my grandma was in Okinawa and my granddad was in Hawaii during World War II. It's always sad hearing the stories, but I think it's important. Plus, the stories of hope and kindness in the midst of all that happened are always touching. Thank you very much, Anonymous. Wolfgang Grimmer says hi. Andrew Jordan. Hello, Mr. Brindley, and thanks for helping on the charity drive. I've looked forward to the live stream all year, and, have made, and this has made me smile during a rough part. Thanks for entertaining me while I wait for my sister to wake up from her surgery. Also, Lewis, stop trying to steal the mouse off your dad. Sorry, Dad. <laughs> Where do you think we are now? Goodness knows where. I don't. I don't know where we are. Where are we, chat? Tell me, chat. Uh, Dirty says, been waiting all month for Lewis's dad to be on. He's amazing as I remember. Amazing? Uh, I, I... Oh, I see dates. I am allergic to dates. That's right. You're... Yeah. What are you allergic to? Dates. Dates? Yeah, they, they you know, dates. Like you fruit, don't mean the fruit. dates that you eat. Yeah, I do. I'm allergic to the... No, dad. I'm allergic <laughs> to going on dates. <laughs> That's what... <laughs> <laughs> so I haven't been on any. Uh, I can't you, Dirty. believe that, Lewis. Dirty Why? Why are you allergic to that? A hundo. Have you, can you say hundo? Hundo! Thank you. Ethan, thanks for what you do. Cheers to your dad. William says, love in the stream, guys. Nice to meet you, Mr. Brindley. Amber Gotchel, Go Gotchel, or Gochel, maybe. Like Vincent van Gogh. Gochel. Gochel? God, who knows. Fenris Valder. Hey, Alan. <laughs> That's a message to you, obviously. Just yes. wanted to let you know that as strange as your son's job might seem, sometimes it really makes a difference to us. He and the other Yogs never fail to make us smile, even on the worst days. Hope you both have a very Merry Christmas. Oh, thank you. There's a message There's a message from Fenris, Fenri Valda. Thank you. Thank uh, you. Where are we, guys? The Portugal. People say Portugal. OMG, yeah. you're back in Portugal at the same yeah. castle. It's apparently the same castle. It is, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> Just from a different angle. Yeah. All right. Uh, well, you know where we are then. Come. I do. Log the guess in and we'll, we'll load up a new round. Uh, Joshua and Sophie Hanley, thank you for all the work you do. And the rest of the Yogs, shout out to Yognaut Central, my sister Sophie Hanley and Lewis Woods. Thank you, guys. Uh, shout out to all of you guys. Adakesh, thank you for good times you bring. Keep up the good work. You're awesome. Uh, Rachel, just wanted to say, Lewis, that your dad is amazing. Can we have a dad pod? Mr. Brindley, you are totally charming. Did you hear that? 
Thank you very much. Rachel says you're charming. Well, I must say, that's very very kind of her. It's very nice to hear these, isn't it? Everyone's very nice. Yes, um, they are. So, do you know what the charities are this year that we've got? You've told me one. Flora and Fawn is definitely one of them, isn't it? We're doing Oxfam. Oxfam again, They sent us yes. some cupcakes. Uh, Shin ate one on stream. Got all cream all over his face. Really? Yeah, because it was when you eat a cupcake, you kind of just have to mm-hmm. go go for it, yeah. don't you? And when you've yeah. got a big bushy beard, yes. Do you have trouble with that? Uh, I did when I had a beard, but I don't have it now. Well, you still got some moustache. No, no, but I'm very careful. See, w- w- ever I- since I had a comrade who ate a cream bun and had cream all around his moustache and his beard, I've always been very careful. When I'm eating cream That's buns. Right. <laughs> I remember. Now, I also remember this, that when you shaved your moustache, you look very strange, don't you? Uh, pa- so you think. You have a very thin top lip. That's the thing. Well, why, wait a minute. What's your, your top I lip? I probably isn't... take after you yes, with a you thin top got a lip. Particular, yes, quite. But I'm just saying that, that um, the moustache suits you. Because it kind of, you know, sometimes people who are a bit chubby have a big beard, don't they, yes. to hide the big double yes. chin. Mm. Um, but it, yeah, the, the, the moustache sits comfortably on you. But the thing is, like, I noticed this because Terps shaved off his beard, uh, or at least shaved it down, and his daughter sort of didn't recognise him anymore because his baby daughter, you know, was obviously used to this mm-hmm. big bearded yes, fellow. Yeah. And so it took her a little while to get used yeah, to it him does, again. It does, yeah. So I think that happens, doesn't it? Mm. Mm. Um, but yeah, so, so. Yeah, you, you rock the moustache, it's great. Um, yes, look at this. Uh, uh, we've been there, actually. I've been to this place. Why I didn't recognise in the first place. You've been there? It. Yeah, to this castle. Have you? Mm. A pity I didn't go round a bit more the first time. I might have remembered oh, it. Oh, I see. It's only when I saw it the second time I realised. You mean from down on the, from outside? Yeah, it's, it's near a town called Sintra in Portugal. Right. Well... Well, I can't believe you've actually been up the up in it. Actually been to wandered it. around it, yeah. I think you've been to so a lot lovely, of these places. Hot you went day. to the Colosseum. You went to the. You've probably been to the Fountain, haven't you? Yeah. Mm. You've uh, you certainly haven't been to the Mount Rushmore, but I'm I I really liked seeing Mount Rushmore. That was cool, wasn't it? Mm, it was. But yeah, yeah. It's very good. The story of Mount Rushmore's um, mm. it's quite a big landmark, but really it wasn't finished properly. Um, so yes, that's jolly good, that was. Did you, do you want to do it's one, in, do inter- to do one it's more? Interesting you, you had enough? Going around the world, really, isn't it? Seeing these different Oh, it places. really is. Yeah. Mm, um, how do you feel? Do you want to do another one? Or do you want to play a different game? What would you like to do? Yeah, perhaps you ought to do something different. Okay, we'll play a different game. Uh, we'll, cut, we'll cut away from this then, uh, if we can, in the studio, Sam. Boom. Oh, we're back on, back on the big screen. Okay. Dad, you yeah. can read some donations now. Okay, I know it sounds complicated. What I'm sorry, what am I doing? You can read some donations out. Okay. Right. So, this this is who it's from. So you can say, this is from... From Laurie. And then you can say... Hi, Lewis. Dad. Hi, Lewis's dad. Merry Christmas. Loving the... <laughs> Geo guest. <laughs> Ge- that's what we're playing. Geo guest. Oh, that's the name good. of the game. Yeah, that's nice. Okay, so now you have to do that one. And uh, Vincent. Yes. Merry Christmas. Same to you, Vincent. Thank you very much. Okay, keep going. Uh, donation Sky from the USA. Donation for the best dad, the real dad. Lucas' dad. Yes, that's true. <laughs> I, am a, I am a real dad. Thank goodness. That's right. So okay, Sky. You- Thanks for the donation. I'll just mark these ones as red. Okay, so keep going. This is from Anton, viewer since 2011. Hey, Lewis, glad to see your dad on again this year. Please let him know that he is pretty cool to take on all the advanced tech. Thank you very much, Anton. I do appreciate that, yes. It did have me worried last year. It's got me more worried this year. (laughs) Must be the age. (laughs) All you young people are uh, much more advanced. Right, donator from uh, Tumas. Merry Christmas, keep up the good work. Love from Estonia. Thank you, Tumas. Uh, donator from Sebskio. Haven't been able to catch as many streams this year, but I still enjoy those I can. Glad you got mental health into the charities. Merry Christmas. Yeah, Thank so you. one of the other charities is Mental Health Foundation. Mental Health Foundation, um, right. Which is, is useful because a lot of people suffer from mental health who watch us, and also um, Simon has a bit of problems with it, and some, yes, some of our other channels yeah. do as well. So this is, this is $80 donation from Nick. $80, that's Nick very good, Nick. Ben Schlop. Ben Schlop, yes. 
fourth year donating and wonderfully and hopefully many more to come have a wonderful 2016 thank you nick same to you i hope i hope so too so you click that well done oh you figured it out you've got you used an ipad before clearly yeah. haven't you yes and so you can carry on from from uh, right. re a nemo Love you guys, keep it up. $25. Thank you, Nemo. Great stuff. Thank you. I've also got um, one that I missed here. Rethoy. Yeah. I've watched these streams for three years. Love them. Thank you, ne Rethoy. <laughs> You're doing this great. You are great at this. You're a natural dad. You think so? I, I think you, have you've forgotten your glasses, though. I don't wear glasses. Well, you, well, you look like you might need them. <laughs> 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 yeah, I know you're only joking, Liz. Uh, this is from Hendy. Uh, <laughs> enjoyed the stream. We have managed to catch this year. Thanks for all the time you all put in for this. Well, I think that's right, Hendy. I'm glad you said that because they do put a great amount of time into this. Of course, it's very wonderful to have such an audience or set of viewers who, who are prepared to donate this money. That's I do right. admire the Yogscast for selecting some of the um, charities that really do need help. <sighs> you softy. <laughs> One here from Dick Chappie. After Hat Films and Fighting Fantasy, Lewis's Dad is always my favourite stream. Well, well, it's very kind of you to say so. Thank you, Dick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's right, you've managed to zoom in a little bit there, Dad. Yeah. So, yeah, you have to press them twice to, yeah, okay. just so, you, yeah, in case you did it right. Now, nice. this is a very unusual pronunciation. I'm not sure how it's it. Snapskba. Snap SCP. Snap SCP. Yeah. Yeah, okay, Snap SCP. Hey there, Yogs. Been loving the stream so far, and I think that you all are doing a wonderful thing for some great charities. Keep up the good work. It's exactly what I say. Agree. One here from Scott uh, Cerro. Love you guys. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, Sir, Scott, for that donation. Oh, this is a long one, isn't it? Right, then uh, there's one here from Ross. Merry Christmas, Lewis and Mr. Brindley. My birthday today. Oh, well. Many happy birthday, terms. Ross. Yeah, happy birthday. And, Lewis, the last few years I've sent a message asking about a freelance video editor job. So, any chance? I have tried the proper application and whatnot. Just thought I would ask. Merry Christmas. Have you done the Terminator test yet? There's this thing called the Terminator test that we have, which is basically a very, very difficult video edit around the map that we did where we did a t map on the terminator uh -huh. and um it's easy to mess it up and so if you haven't if you failed that then tough tough shit friend um <laughs> <laughs> i hope you heard still that still got ross. some way to go ross yeah. if you failed it but if you haven't taken it yet then there's still a chance for you okay then ross thanks for the thoughts and <laughs> merry christmas to you uh Oh, sorry, I'm just chuckling away. Uh, so yeah, press it once, and then it will go purple. So just press it, tap it, tap it, tap it. Just tap it, not squeeze it. Oh, it's, what is it happening now? How have you broken this? Only my dad could break this. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear! All right, looks like it's working again. Ah, uh, well, some guys made a good donation here finally got around <laughs> to donating can't stay for the whole stream sadly but you're all doing a grand job here his name is he's put his name in as some guy some not guy. not some guy uh wes has said big geo guesser fan here pursuing a master's in geography and hopefully this will give us some more here there we go okay you carry on going Okay, donation from Ian Hardgrave. Hi guys, love the stream. I've donated every charity stream thus far. Hope you all have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And of course, we say the same to you, Ian. Thank you. Well, this is a good uh, alias or pseudonym or whatever it is. Cup of milk. Oh, yeah. It could be some sort of strange 
Czechoslovakian name. Come right, do it. cup of milk. Cup of milk. Sounds like a maybe a, ch- a, a, a guy who would, yeah. Likes his milk. Right, yeah. That would okay, be it. sorry, but uh, sorry about that. Good day, though, from Cup of Milk. How's it going, Mr. Lewis's dad? I am very thankful for the shout-out last year. The things you guys do for charity is amazing, and I've been waiting for this live stream all month long. One more time. Can I get a shout-out? Shout-out to Cup of Milk. There you go. Shout-out? Yeah, let's just shout-out his name. Shout-out, Cup of Milk! <laughs> well done. Thank you for the donation. <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, holy crap. Oh, um, lady here. Message from Margaret Cross. So pleased Mr. Brindley came back this year. Such a charming gent. Thank also you, Margaret. That's very kind Lewis of you. didn't make him play something weird. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there was a chance I was going to make you play yes, something also weird. Also, please, Lewis didn't make him play something weird. Yes, I'm, I'm pleased also, Margaret, that he didn't do that. It's weird enough being here at the best of times. <laughs> okay, Merry Christmas to you. Fire, um... Donator here from Einar Geregerson. Loving the streams this year. Greetings from the Faroe Islands. My goodness. Oh, Dad, look, we've hit $100,000. $100,000. $800,000. 800000 And now some epic music is going to play. You'll hear it in a second. There we are. You ready? So you have to like dance to this. So just like drop some shapes. Just like, you know, feel it. Get into it. Just to be smooth. Oh, yeah. We did it. $800,000, Dad, for charity. That's great, isn't it? It's great. And you helped raise it. Well, I hope we have, yes. Hope to raise a little bit I'm glad. tonight. I'm I'd glad. just like to say thank you, Ina. I didn't thank you for the donation. Thank you and Merry Christmas to you. Oh, Dad, you're such a good guy. Can you just stay all night and read these? That would be so nice. Okay. Uh, so these... That's great, 800,000, that's great. Yes, yeah, Smoke's just picked it up, look. Well yeah. done, Smoke's 800, Merry Yogmas. Y- Merry Yogmas. That's right. Yes, I like it. When are the Yogmas going to come to New Zealand, eh? Well, uh, I've been to New Zealand, and I can thoroughly recommend it, and I hope they all get there sometime. Thank you, Yogmas, thank you. Donator here, George Cantor. I would donate G64 amount of money. However, I am afraid your heads will collapse into a black hole if you try to interpret the donation. <laughs> well, we've interpreted the one you've actually given, so thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, yes, yes. We, so those hieroglyphics would certainly confuse us. Um, okay. Merry Christmas to you. George Cantor, thank you. Yeah. Okay, donator. A gentleman of London now is telling us, and he's donated something. Thank you very much. Hey, familia. Ding dongs. Just wanted to say fantastic job on the live stream. Well bloody done. Also, can you get your dad to say wubba lubba dub dub? <laughs> <laughs> w- w- was that loud enough? A bit louder. Wubba dubba dub dub. Okay, that was nice. That, I mean, was that, nice. Th- that must be some some meaning. I'm not quite sure where you went. Wubba dubba dub dub. Yeah, yeah, it is, is a, it? it is a meaning, Dad. <laughs> yeah, there's a meaning to it. Anyway, thank you, the gentleman of London. Thank you for the donation. A Merry Christmas to you. Uh, okay. You're getting it. You're getting it. You're getting the hang of it. He's right. checking them, see? He's checking there's nothing rude in there, aren't you? Yes. Mike Gallagher of Artane's CS. Now, where is that? Don't know. Artane's CS. Don't know where it is, Mike, but uh, thanks for the donation. Of all the streams I was looking forward to this year, this was the only stream I've been able to make. Oh, that's... Sad. Never mind. This is a good one, I hope. Thanks so much, Lewis and Lewis's dad. Was ticket good? I'm also <laughs> sad I missed that one. Anyway, say hi to your dad for me. Oh, well, he's already said it hi, Mike. So hi to you. Merry Christmas. P- 
Petter from the Czech Republic has donated. And, yes, um, please, yes. Have some more cash, guys. You're great. Another greetings from the Czech Republic. Yes, we've been there a couple of times tonight on the Geo Guess, which uh, was very good. And I hope to go to Prague, as I said. I hope to go to Prague someday. Oh, is that on your list now? It is, actually, yeah. Okay. Uh, who's ah, this? now we've got someone from Denmark. Pleased to hear this from, from Julius Kring. Hello, Joskas. Please accept my humble donation. Is, never mind, everything counts. Thank you very much, Julius. And the best wishes for a Merry Christmas and cheers from Denmark. And cheers to you. All right, are you all right there? Do you want a drink or anything? Do you want a cup of tea? No. A biscuit? No. no. We're, we've got another hour. Okay. Another hour. So we've got a hundo here that you can just do. So, see, this is, this is a hundo. Oh. Right. From Logan Peppers. Hondo! <laughs> Hondo! <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Great, great, <laughs> Logan. Really great. I love what you guys do every year. Shout out to my friend Zane, who I hope is watching now and actually watches more Yogcast videos than I do, if that's possible. Keep up the great work. Certainly is great. Well done, Logan. Much appreciated. Merry Christmas to you. Okay. Lewis, you just told me we've got another hour to go, and you said it's possibility. Well, if there's another hour to go, perhaps I will have a biscuit. Okay, I'll get you a biscuit. <laughs> you carry on then. Will do. And I will set up this. I thought what we could try and do, Dad, which might be fun, I don't know if you want to try it, is try and defuse a bomb. Try to defuse a bomb? Yeah. Well, that's not been within my orbit of experience so far in life but there's always the first time for everything are you willing to give it a go yes yes am i allowed to be blown up if i don't defuse it uh yes yes oh right okay well that will happen that's a bit it's going to be a bit stressful then it's going to be stressful now what we'll do is we'll, we'll we'll take it easy um because i think that you know we could we could run into some problems if we don't um give you a, a, a good understanding of how to do it but it'll be fine it'll be fine um <laughs> you're gonna <laughs> i'll just i'll just get you a biscuit if i can find one <laughs> you carry on reading them okay all right behave yourself all right <laughs> okay the message here from kenya knight Thank you, Kenya, for your donation. Since particularly you've gone over your limits, just for my, just for me, just for Lewis's dad. <laughs> oh dear, Kenya, thank you very much. Great man, the legend. I'm not sure about that, but thanks very much. Have a good Christmas. Right, this is very difficult. So, some of you guys out there have got strange names to give yourself. Very difficult pronouncing these. This is from Jesho Shovi. I hope, you, I hope I pronounced that correctly. Jesho Shovi. I hope you gents have a very mixed Xmas. And uh, same to you. Thanks for the donation. Lewis has just brought me some Irish cream liqueur... Biscuits. Oh, no, no, they're not, not biscuits, they're ice cream liqueurs. Smooth milk chocolate promises you a biscuit and gives you chocolates. Good gracious. Who won't be in the Yogg's cast at this time? Curtis, thank you very much for your donation. I love watching stuff with Lewis and his dad. Fun stuff and I will never stop watching. That's very kind of you to say so. I hope you don't stop watching. OK, Merry Christmas to you. Uh, Pearl, thanks, donate. Thanks for your donation. Love the father's on stream. We're new parents. My Christmas wishes to one day have as great as a relationship as you two have. Yes, well, it's uh, it's one that has to take time to mature. Pearl, sometimes it's uh, good. <laughs> sometimes it's not so good. But overall, it's wonderful to be a dad. Merry Christmas to you. Yes, these names keep coming up. Owls, owls, owls. 
owls, owls, two owls, owls. Sorry it's not a uh, hundred, but every little helps. You sure, sure does. Okay, thank you, owls, owls. Patrick, for your count is going up, well, Mr. Brinda Jr. has his son. <laughs> Sorry, if you... View count is going up while Brindy Jr. his sanity is going down. <laughs> I'm sorry I'm causing so many problems, Patrick, but um, he's, he's, he's a good lad. He's, he's putting up with it and he's doing very well. Thanks for your donation. Uh, Chris, Christopher. Christopher. Where is Ulf? Now that's a problem, uh, Christopher. I don't know where Ulf is. I'm not even sure that I know who Ulf is. I think this is one for Lewis. We'll have to wait for Lewis to come back. A donation here from KRAZD. I'm sure that is a pronunciation which I'm with which I'm not familiar. But uh, Kratz. If you're listening, as I hope you are, thank you very much for the donation. Love the work you guys do. Keep up the quality. Okay. Thank you, Kratz. How's it going in here? Well, I'm just waiting for you to tell us where Ulf is. Where, where is Ulf? <laughs> I don't know, Dad. <laughs> I don't know what that means. I'm sorry. That's not, a, that's not something I know. Oh, all right. Sorry, Christopher. I'm afraid I can't tell you where Ulf is because neither of us know. What are these things like? Are they all right? No, I haven't tried one yet, Liz. Oh, okay. Shall I try one? Yeah, I try one. Uh, thank you to Frederick. Hello, Brin Dad is the best dad. Happy Christmas from Sweden. Mm. Uh, Nick P. The annual dad stream is always better than Christmas. It's an on my 22nd birthday. Happy birthday to you out there, Nick P. Uh, so, I've bought you some gingerbread tea. Oh, you really? Yeah. Um, Gingerbread tea. I'm not sure what it's going to be like. Someone sent it to us. It's caffeine free. It smells like gingerbread, and I thought it would go nicely with those chocolates. Mm. Um, it's filled, it smells very Christmassy. That's for goddamn sure. Um, I'm not sure how strong it needs to be. And I brought some milk to put in it. I don't know if it needs sweetening either. I guess we'll figure it out. Hey, okay. figure it out. <clears throat> now there's a question from me from Dylan. For Lewis's dad, if you had to live anywhere else aside from the United Kingdom, where would it be? Now that's a difficult question because I've been to a lot of places where I've liked the place and I've liked the people. Um, and the difficulty is that I don't, although I speak French and uh, a little bit of German, I'm not particularly good at learning these languages very difficult so if anywhere i think it would have to be one of the colonies where english is the language i'm sorry about that that's not to say i wouldn't like to live in any of the other places i would i'd very much like it if i thought i'd be capable of learning the language and i'm not sure that i could so i suppose the answer is probably new zealand Okay, that's your answer, is it? Yeah. Dylan, I hope that, uh, that satisfies you. It's probably a bit hot, but give it a try. I'm going so to have a, it might be awful. a swig. That's a good word. A, a swig. swig. Or a sip. Of, have a sip. Of, oh, no, no, no. Sip's no good. A swig of ginger tea. Brewing bread tea. Mm. Well, certainly different. Okay, Dylan, thanks, now, for, the, you're, thanks very much for the You're very set in your Bye-bye. ways, aren't you, Dad? You know, you don't like change. I'm not saying that old people... Not that you're old. I'm not saying you're... If, okay, I'm really putting my foot in this. I'm just saying you don't like tea very much, do you? Because you're very... You like tea in a very specific way, don't you? Yes. Yeah. And so I'm not surprised that you don't really like it. But you're not... Wait a minute. I didn't say I didn't like it. Well, I, I, I'm automatically assuming that you're going to hate it. That's all. No, no, whatever. <laughs> no, Frank... Now, let's be clear. 
You're obviously not aware of how how much I like ginger generally. Do you like ginger? I like ginger nuts. I like oh, that's uh, true. Ginger beer. Oh uh, yeah. Yes, yes. Uh, I like ginger marmalade. Yes, I like ginger. Well, you heard it here first, everyone. So, what do you think of this gingerbread tea? Good. It's got no caffeine in it, which is obviously nice. Yes. But it's very strong. It's isn't good. It? It's nice. I like it. Well. Yeah. Thank you, whoever sent that in to us. You're amazing. And one, as a message here from a donator. Thank you, your donation, Chuken. Hey, Bryn, Liz, cheers again, or in Swedish, skull. Skull. Um, skull to you too. Skull. 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 Whatever it is. Merry Christmas. Have these got nuts in them? But they're very nice, by the way. Uh, I'd better take them away or else I might eat them all. Well, I think you're allowed a couple. Mum says you could do with a bit of fattening up anyway. Did she? Well, she's always, she's, always, she's always trying to fatten you up a bit because you're getting a bit bony. You know, you've got to keep, <laughs> you've got to keep the weight on through these winter months. Well, I think as you, as you get older, Lewis, you, you can either lose weight or put weight on. You know that you shrink as you get older. So as you shrink, you must lose weight. Your nose doesn't and your ears don't. They get bigger. Your nose and your ears keep growing. Your I bet, you, I keep bet you've got bigger ears than, than me. Take your headphones off. No, no, I'm not. I can't take your headphones off. You don't want to show off. me your gigantic ears. No, I'm not going to show you anything. Now, Big mind you, ears. I must admit, now you mention it, now you mention it, my, one of my grandfathers did have big ears. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> yeah. I called him Big Ear Brindley. Yeah, no, no, that wasn't Big Ear Brindley. It was, it was not it was the Brindley other person. It was Big Ear Brindley. It was the other side. There were two sides of the family, right? Oh, right. The mother's side and father's side. Your gr- my grandfather on the mother's side had big ears. Okay. Is yeah, it? I remember. It was funny you should mention that. Well. I just remembered it. Well, it wasn't intentional. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> sorry to bring up that. Uh, no slight on him. I mean, he was... Um, he was a lovely man. He, he was had a, very big ears. He had big ears. Yeah. Funny how people have different ears. Funny how people are different. Yeah. yeah. People are different. Okay. This is... This is... I can't name. <laughs> Cyanidex. GX. Cyanidex. What's a funny name? Cyanide TGX. Cyanide, cyanide TGX. Okay. Yeah. Hello, Lewis and Mr. Brindley. Love the dad streams. You two are hilarious. Really? Might, <laughs> might renowned explorers be a fun game for you two? Yes, might well be. Renowned explorer sounds good. Okay. So Let's have a go. Similar to um, Geo... Uh, Geography, is it? Yeah. Let's have a go at this bomb game. So, Okay, cyan- Cyanide XTGX. Sorry. Thank you for the donation. We're going to do... Well, I'll read some more of these in a little bit, but we're pretty much up to date. So okay. if you switch here... Actually, we've got about 20 minutes to go through, actually. Or maybe even longer. All right, don't worry. We'll, we'll do those in a bit. So let's have a game of this. Okay. Because it's quite intense. Okay. And you're going to need to learn how to do it. Oh, is this a bomb? Yeah. So uh, if we swap places... Um, you have to grab your coffee. We'll swap. We'll swap headphones as well. Right. Okay. Okay. Good. <laughs> Hang on, quick. Um. Okay. Pop those back on your head. Nice. No so, clue. um, I'm gonna need. You see that that instruction booklet there? This one. See that? That dad. Yeah, and you just get it out. Is the bomb diffusal manual. Okay, do you see that? Oh, yes, okay. Bomb, bomb diffusal, diffusal manual. manual. So, so this di- tells me how to diffuse a bomb. Read okay. and learnt in 10 seconds. It's pretty complicated, right? There's like a lot of pages of, of data here. I don't know if you can see this. There's like me. databases and things like that that I have to like follow, like patterns and things to, to defuse the bombs. Okay? It's complicated, really complicated. You actually have... But I can't see what you're going to be doing. I'm not allowed to look at your bomb that you're diffusing. I have you have to tell me, so as if you're like a remote person. So let's set the scene. Okay, I see, you're yeah. doing something on a normal day. So what's the kind of thing you do normally? Maybe you, you've gone out somewhere. Where would you have gone to? Uh, I've probably gone to the library. Go to the library. Okay, so you go into the library, and before as you get there, all these people are are running like, oh no, without screaming, they're like, where's a bomb in the library? They're all running out of the library. And you're like, step aside. Step aside. I'm going to defuse this bomb. So in you, in you go, into the library. 
okay? And you think, you think I know who's a, like, a bomb disposal expert. My son, Lewis. Okay. He knows how, okay? So you've got to ring me up and you say, hey, Lewis, right. I found a bomb. Yeah. I'm going to need your help to defuse it. Right. Okay? Yeah. This is what we're going to do. Okay. Okay, so using this mouse, which I know is a foreign piece of equipment to you. Absolutely. You are going to have to control a bomb <coughs> and defuse it. Okay. Okay, so um, Sam will show you the screen. Um, and I will not look at the screen. Uh, I will just look over here like this. All right? Yeah. So I can't see what you're doing at all. All right. Um, but you're going to have to tell me what you see in front of you and um, et cetera. So actually, if you go down and click on the first bomb, this is the first the first bomb. OK, so right. just if you if you just press start, um, <laughs> a bomb will hopefully appear in front of you somewhere. So everyone has to start somewhere. Just let's hope it doesn't end here, too. Eh? Yeah, I can't see anything. I don't know what so you're you've doing. Got your, so you've got the manual and yeah. you're ready to start. I'm ready to I'm ready. To I'm going to start then. If you press start. So, oh my God's sakes. <laughs> press on the first bomb. <laughs> okay. We can get through the menus. Click on that. Okay, then, then click start there. Okay, good. All right. I thought we'd already pressed that. You're not allowed to look at the... I'm not allowed to look at the de bomb diffusal manual. You are. Yeah. I'm here, Dad. I'm here for you. Don't worry. Tell me, tell me, tell me how you're feeling. Are you, are you ready? Uh, well, it looks as though uh, it's a, it's a, it's, um, imagine a case with a lid off the case. The case has got several components. Um, it's in the, imagine that the looking in, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, okay. a, six areas. Okay, so click on the bomb and bring it up in, in front of you if you haven't already. Uh, okay. what, what are we looking at? What are there? <coughs> We're looking at some... In the left-hand corner, it looks like there's a radiator. That's like a, like a, a radiator in, in, in a house. A radiator, okay. But it's got it's stripes. Okay, don't worry about that. Well, is, there a, is there a button? The button's in the middle, which has got a... In the middle... Okay. Quadrant, All right, so click click on the near the button, but don't click on the button. So click click around the button, and it should bring up the button as a focus on your yes. screen. Yeah, okay. That's got a board. Is the button? It says a board on it, right? Is it blue? No, it's yellow. Okay. Uh, can you right click and then right click, hold down right click and look around the bat the bomb and see if there's any batteries on it stuck to it, like AA batteries or like big batteries or anything like that. If I right click, nothing happens. Yeah, but can you like can you like hold down right click and rotate the bomb around? Um, so like right click. Right click a few times, then, uh, then... The back... Yeah. One, two, three, four, that's comprised of six squares... Yeah, but is there any batteries There's attached not, to the it, bomb anywhere? Not as I can any see. Any on the side? Can you spin it around? Uh, now, if we go around to the one edge, yes. There's uh, two small batteries on the left-hand side and a, a large one on the right-hand side. OK. So can you go back to the, 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 the button again? Yeah, OK. OK, so is it um, white? Is the button white? No, it's blue, you said. No, it's yellow. It's yellow. Um... Mm. Okay, so, oh, sugar. Uh, all right, so, um, is, what's the label say? Is there a label? Uh, there's, there's four buttons beneath the abort uh, uh, with hieroglyphics on them. Okay, that's fine. Don't worry about that. How long is it on the timer left? Well, we've got 2.45 left. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm going to ask you to press and hold the button... Okay. The abort button. Yes, but wait. Uh, what is what colour is? Is there a strip? Um, okay, so press and hold the button now, for me. Yeah. Okay, press it. You're holding it. Yeah. And there's a red so It's now but got a red circle around it. Okay. So um, uh, 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 the strip should light up on the right side yes, of the module. It, what colour is that? What colour is that strip? It's, it's yellow flashing. Okay. So you need to release the button when the countdown timer has a five in it, any position. So when it's like. Two minutes and five seconds, or two minutes and thirty-five seconds. When there's a five in any number, you need to release. Okay. Done it. Did it green I light? Released it when it was two over. It's, no, it's not stopped. Still going. No, but was there a green light by the button now? Yes. The top? Okay. A green so light press on right the top. and zoom back out. What are the other things on there? If you've got wires. Wires are yellow, a blue, a white, and a blue. 
A yellow, a what? A what yellow and a what? at the top, blue underneath, white under that, and another blue one. How many are there? Four. Uh, is there more than one red wire? No, there's no red wire. Oh, what is? Uh, so what's the what's the last wire? Blue. Okay. Uh, is there only one blue wire? There's one white. Is there two one blue? This is two blue. One uh, yellow. Is there one? So is there just one yellow? Yeah. All right. Cut the cut the second wire. Try the, that. The second blue or the second? Just the second wire down. Second wire down. Okay. Cut it by doing. Doing what? Just click yeah. on it. Okay. Cut. What happened? Nothing. Does it? Does it? Still going. Did it be for anything? No. Did you cut the wire? Yeah. I've is cut it the green wire. in the top right now? Is there a green light up next to the wires? Uh, yes, it's still there. Is the, is the light gone green on the wires? Still, it's the, no, no. Oh yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. Sorry. All right. So the is wires it, are done. So yeah. zoom back out. How long have we got left? Sorry. How long have we got left? Forty-eight seconds. Okay. Zoom back out. So you some, there's some hieroglyphics, right? Yeah. Okay. So what are they? Uh, well, there's um, oh goodness me. Well, just give me an idea. Uh, a zigzag line. Right. Okay. More. Uh, yeah, a half a circle with a dot in the middle. Okay. And an upturned Y. An upturned Y? Yeah. Okay. And a peculiar hieroglyphic, like a, a funnel with a circle, half a circle underneath it, uh, with a handle outside it. A funnel with half a circle? Underneath it. Underneath it? And a, a handle sticking out the left-hand side. I have no idea what I'm looking... Oh, like that thing? Yeah. Okay, so a funnel. What else is there? Sorry? That's only those four. How long have we got left? Three seconds. Oh, two wait, seconds. I think we're in trouble. One second. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sugar. All right. I didn't know what you were describing there. Those. <laughs> I did not know, have a clue what those hieroglyphics were that you were describing. <laughs> 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 well, it's too late to worry about it now. It's been blown up. That's right. The library is blown to the blown to the sky oh, dear. high. Exploded. Uh, cause of explosion. <sighs> Time run out. For goodness sake. My goodness me. Okay, so... So, the manual should tell us what to do, should it? So, I, I, what were those symbols, Dad? Can you look at this? Can you show me what those symbols were that you were telling me about? Well, the, the look. Funnel... Uh, the funnel? What does that look like? It's an it's like half of an H with a triangle and a M. Uh, a funnel? Well, that's your description. That's a zigzag. Oh, that's a zigzag. That one is definitely a zigzag. And you've got half a circle with a dot in the middle. That's a backward C with a dot in the middle. All right, backward C. Half a circle with a dot yeah. in the middle. It's not even half. It's at least three quarters it's, of a circle. It, it's... More or less a half a circle. It's not more or less anything. <laughs> Look, the, <laughs> how am I going to get half a circle? All right, oh, all no, right, fine. I see, if I was aware of the hieroglyphics that we use here, did you get the upturned Y? Is that what that was, an upturned Y? Mm. An upside down Y with a cross through it. No, I didn't get that. Mm. So it was supposed to be this one, I guess, in that case. So basically what you have to do is you have to tell me four symbols. I have to figure out which column it's from. Oh, right. And, I, and then, I, then you press them in the order. Oh, I see. Um, yes. But I couldn't figure out what the zigzag Very or any clever. of that stuff was. I should have figured it out from the zigzag. Now I know what a zigzag is. Well, maybe we can solve this problem in the future. That was pretty good, though. We nearly, we nearly did all right. We didn't do all we right. Nearly we nearly did got, all right. We blew ourselves up. No, but it was good. I think it was good. Your descriptions were actually fine as no, well. No, they weren't in fine. They were, yeah. It worked good. Look, what, no, look, no, what no, don't... don't <laughs> Try to <laughs> don't try. What you say your descriptions weren't fine now? No, no, it's poor. I don't. Th I don't think I'd make a very good bomb disposal expert. Well, I don't think too many bombs have uh, complex, weird symbol puzzles on them. Do you? <coughs> they could be if there was some. Yeah, why not? Uh, it may have been some strange language. That's true. Uh, pass me that pencil, actually, because it's pretty useful to have a pencil. Would you like to have another go? Do you think? Do you think you're feeling a bit? Do you think you're gonna have, we'll have a little break <coughs> for a moment to let you recompose yourself after that, I mean, that you know, it's being blown up? Worrying things, you know, blowing yourself up. But not, um, not every day it happens. I'm so sorry, Dad. I'm so sorry. You should have. I should have. We should have backed. Oh, I didn't. The timer was. But now well, you. No, no. I what? was happy to do it. I'm glad we got through the first two correctly. The um, the wires and the uh, yes, the wires and the button. Because I thought we would have flipped those up as well. I I, so I anticipated you would. Do, do something with the batteries. Well, the batteries are a factor. So basically, sometimes if if it, if it's like a 
It's complicated. It is complicated. So I have to go through this flow yeah, chart, basically. Mm. So mm. if it's like, if it's if there's mm. a yellow, one yellow wire and there's two batteries, then... I think I would have pulled a battery out. You would have pulled one of the batteries out. <laughs> 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 well, I mean... <laughs> well, I mean, if it's, if it's working off batteries and there's batteries taken out, it won't work. That's yeah, true. First, better, better check it's not plugged in as well. But know. I guess this is more sophisticated than that. Well, you know, who yeah. knows? Uh, Charlotte, the ginger tornado... Uh, you like ginger, don't you, Dad? Yes. Uh, hello, cute Mr. Brindley. Here's my question. What would Dad be doing if he was not on the live stream? If today? I was not on the live stream? What would you be doing today at home? Mm, I'd, I'd be at home. Well, let's see. Yes. What night is it tonight? It's a uh, tu- uh, Wednesday. Wednesday. It's Wednesday night. Yes, I'd be at home. Okay. Doing what? Well, either reading or catching up on some of the reading I've got to do. Since I get various magazines, which I find little time to read, but only in the evenings when I can... What magazines do you read? Oh, I have my magazine from um, Saga. Saga magazine? Yeah, I have a magazine from um, my motor motor accident company, GEM. Motor accident Uh, company uh, magazine. This is the advertising. Riveting reading. Yeah, it is good. Actually, it's very useful. Gives you a lot of tips on motoring. Really? Yep. Do you motor a lot? Oh, of course I do. I motor here. You didn't motor here. No, I know. I didn't today, but I did normally. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> well, let's do yeah. some more donations. Sean from Colorado. Yes, and, uh, then, of course, I, I belong to various Thank you. Sean. charities and, and get magazines from them. Rotary magazine. Oh, I get Still Rotary. doing Rotary? Two, two magazines from Rotary, yeah. Oh, there's so much to do. I know there is. So, so much, much magazines to read. To, to keep read. up to date with. It's impossible. Uh, so some, some I skim, I must admit. Some I skim. And then, having done something, I'd probably go and uh, get myself a cup of tea and watch the television for an hour. Hmm. Oh, well, there we go. What, a, what an exhilarating night that would be. Has <laughs> Mum put you to work or anything? No, I do that in the day mainly. Okay. So what kind of things does mum put you to work doing at the moment? Sorry, what What kind of things is mum mum putting you to work in? Doing stuff in the garden or...? Uh, Well, she's just taken on the job of secretary of of the bridge club. Okay. Which has just recently been formed um, from the old bridge club which packed up. Okay. Reformed as a new bridge club with different people in charge. And she's become the secretary. Well. And she's been very busy. She's made a new website for them. Uh, she's organised it. Yeah, she's, she's worked hard. I saw the she website has, yeah. and yeah. I instantly broke it. She gave me access and said, oh, have a look at what, I, what this amazing thing is. And I instantly, somehow, broke it, didn't I? Because remember we were... We were looking at it on my computer or we were looking on hers. And I'm not anyway, sure I what fixed you did. it. I fixed it eventually. <laughs> uh, Cameron D, your dad's a cracking chip chap. Cracking chip. Thank you. Thank you to Ian K as well. Cameron, thank you very much. Uh, Stephen, have a merry Yogsmas. And Martin van der Meulen. Dear Lewis, thank you so much for the entertainment. I appreciate your candor during the real talk. Thank you very much. Uh, Winter Sandoval, donating again. Uh, Love him, Mr. Brindley's, Mr. Brindley's old man squint. Well, Playing GeoGuessr. There you go. You were, you were obviously uh, squinting away at that. I was trying to focus on the, 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 the signs that we couldn't really see easily. Mm. Um. Um, thank you to Maria. Uh, thanks for everything you do. Merry Christmas. Ian Mulcahy. Uh, quick question, Dad. Where is the best place you've gone to? Best place I... Um, that is very difficult to say. There, are, there's so many places in the world, not only, not just England or the United Kingdom, which are fascinating. Yeah, really, really fascinating things to see. I, I think one of the most fascinating things are really um, Egypt, mm. Nile, the temples. Wonderful. Yeah, really amazing. Well, there you go. That's a great answer. Thank you very much for your donation. Uh, Caligis and Johanna H, second time donating from Sweden. Uh, Earlier, you were at the Globe in Sweden, the world's biggest spherical building, not an observatory. Really? It's the world's biggest spherical building. 
uh, Toby Larone, uh, thank you very much for your donation. And Suhail, uh, Lewis question, will you ever do something similar to Sorcery Through Your 80 Days with Simon or Your Dad? Because remember we played 80 Days last year, do you remember that? When we, we went did. around the world? We did, yes. That was a fun game, wasn't it? It was until we ended up at a dead end and we couldn't go forward or backwards. Oh, we ended up in trouble, didn't we? Ended we ended in trouble, yeah. 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 We Not got so good, stuck. really. Well, maybe, maybe, do you know what? If you're around this year, maybe we can get, go ahead and take a day and record some of that and put it out on the main channel. I'd like to do that. Would you like to play a proper 80 days with me? Yes, yes, it was good. Yeah, I think it would mm. be fun to do. That's a really good suggestion. I think we might look at doing uh, that. Uh, at least we didn't blow ourselves up. Well, that's true. That's what we have done here. <laughs> uh, speaking of that, thank you to D. Scott. Let's go and do one more round, shall we? And okay. hopefully this time we'll do better. But we might do worse. We might do a lot worse, Dad. Who knows? Um, we can't do much worse than we did last time. Robert you forget Dylan. blown up, it's only Thank as you. bad. Thank you, Robert Dylan. And there's a hundo from Chadwick. Hundo! hundo. Okay, good. Uh, all right, there's a bomb. Are you ready? What? What? Tell me what you're looking at. Okay. All right, sim similar picture. Well, similar picture to um, before. Okay. This time. The, it's this one, two, three, the six squares. The middle square in the bottom has got a yellow button called donate on it. Donate? Yeah. To the charity? Not donate, detonate. <laughs> detonate? <laughs> I got a donation on the brain. Sorry. Uh, uh, detonate. So <laughs> press that button to donate to charity. If the button is blue, is it blue? No. Yellow. Is there more than one battery on the bomb anywhere? Uh, let's have a so look. So we need to see if we can find any batteries There's attached battery. to the outside. There's two batteries. Yes, two batteries. Okay, so press and immediately release the button. So click it and release it. Just click it once. So press the detonate button. Have press pr the detonate button? Yeah. Right, okay. Just let's press it. I'm, I'm going to. Yeah. Have you pressed it? Yeah. Has and it gone green? It's red. The red ring is 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 um, blinking next round it. Are you holding it? No. Okay. The red ring is blinking. So, what's it, what is it got a green light on the? No. Should I hold it? No, no, no. Have you pr have you pressed it? I have pressed it. Just are you holding it? No. Just pr okay. Press it once again. The like green lights oh, come on. Fucking thank God. Right, zoom back out. What else have we got? We've got some hieroglyphics. Oh shit! There was a beep there. What was that? Uh, an X has appeared in a little box above the minute timer. What happened? Why did that happen? I don't know. What did, what did you... What, so we got an X, have we? We got a strike for some reason. Okay, what are the other options? What the, got? The, well, there's, 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 there's some wires above the detonate. Okay. The highest is blue. It goes blue, white, yellow, yellow, red and white. R six wires? Yeah, but two of them are in a hazy. It looks as though they're covered up for some reason. There's two, what do you mean? Well, there's, I can see them, but only very it's darkly. They, they sort of look as though they're... Oh, all right. Well, if you click on that, uh, it will open up the area and you can go into them. That's why. Uh, so six wires. Oh, no, I have now got... Yeah, right, so one, two, three, four, five, six How wires. many yellow wires are there? Two in the middle. Uh, are there any red wires? Yes, one. Okay, cut the fourth wire down. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Okay, is it green? Green's on. Okay, go back then. And so that means we've got to do the last puzzle, which is what? Um, What's the other thing on the bomb? Oh, the, you mean the hieroglyphics? Yeah, the hieroglyphics. Okay. A, You've got to tell me what the hieroglyphics are. This is an inverted C with a dot in the middle. Okay, yeah. There's an A with a little T in the middle of it. Okay, yeah. There's a um, mm, flash of lightning or whatever it is. A, a zigzag. Zigzag. Right, and what else? And then there's... Um, Oh, um... Uh, How long have we got? There's a C on its side. There's the one that I couldn't remember last time. What, the, 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 it's the, an H. An H with... Uh, like, with like a triangle and an yes, M underneath that's right. It. All right, click the... How long have we got? One minute, 14. Okay, we've got ages. So, we've got the A with the T. Yeah. Click that first. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. It's red. It's gone red with a green. Okay, click uh, the zigzag next. Yeah, that's gone. Then click the uh, big H. Yeah. And then click the backward C. Oh, we solved the bomb. We did it. We did it. Wow. We hey. solved it. <laughs> the funnel. It was the funnel. 
The funnel. <laughs> funnel. Oh, God. oh dear. Oh. Yes, it's hieroglyphics. You really have to recognise them, don't you? Well done, Dad. Well no, done. no, no, you're the one who's reading all those massive instructions. No, you did it. Fantastic. You actually did it. I'm so pleased with you. That was amazing, Dad. That was amazing. Uh, all right, OK. Well done, everybody. There was only a saved. tiny... Saved. I like it. Someone's just written saved. <laughs> <laughs> well done, whoever wrote oh. saved. <laughs> I believe you solved that great so God, expertly. Great, great, great. Well played. <laughs> oh, that was fantastic. Oh, dear me. I loved that. Oh, OK. Oh, <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> All right, thank you. Oh, uh, so that was a hundo. We did that before. That was the Chadwick. Oh, right, okay. Chadwick hundo. Did that. Uh, Kian uh, says, "Thank you. Love all the stuff you do. Uh, got some money from my 18th birthday last week. Happy birthday from that." So thank you for today to get to this charitable organised thing. Uh, Kent Thang says, uh, "Thank you, Lewis. I keep going. Please be nice to Alan. I'm always nice to you, aren't I, Dad? You are. You are. Yeah." Uh, yeah. Niles, he says. Uh, hey, Mr. Brindy, the Boardlands video you commented on was one of my favourites. Do you oh. remember doing that from back in the day? Mm. You don't remember that, do you? I don't, know. no. No. Uh, Corey Hyam says, uh, Corey Hyam, thank you very much. Thor says, the best stream ever. And my sill, shout out to my old buddy, Jorgen, one of the biggest bastards I know. That's all right. That's sort of thing. <laughs> don't worry about it. Jimmy Olsen, I love the Brindleys. James Michina. Uh, this is going to be my third year of watching charity live streams. Thank you for your amazing work. Um, it's is, really good. Is there anything else uh, that we would like to play? Actually, I think we're doing we're doing all right for time. We only we only got a, yes, yes. I think we'll just chat for another twenty minutes, and then yes. I think. Hmm. Uh, Why does Kyle Murley say I'm a ginger? And what is this? That's what he says. That's I'm just, a ginger. That's his comment. Ah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you mean he's got ginger hair? I assume so. Yeah. yeah. Uh, James has uh, already noted Pavlina. Hey, Mr. Brindley, please come and visit Prague. It's beautiful. I'd love to give you a free tour. Do you want to have a free tour from Pavlina in Prague? She'll show you around. She'll show you the sights. Well, that's very kind of her to mention. She probably me. knows all the places. Say, yeah, yeah. great. Yeah, sometime. All right. Well, yeah, you're on, Pavlina. Let us know. Uh, Chris Coons, thanks for the countless hours of entertainment throughout the month. Merry Christmas, guys. Yes. Cool. Uh, Dave37 Been holding on to my last donation until this stream Have donated a total of $715 so far Wow Wow Thank you for yet another fantastic Christmas live stream Alan Brindley I have the balls and I salute you <laughs> Oh dear uh, Licker Licker Hard Says uh, Can your dad give us some dating stories of his time? How different was it back then? Before Tinder, before, you know, oh, OK Cupid. <laughs> what did you do? How did you find women back in the day? Well, there were several schemes that one could follow. OK. Um, I think that the, the best scheme ever was to join the student union at the college. As right. I was up, because I... Have done an apprenticeship, I had to go to do some of the, if you like, the academic work at the local college. Okay. And the local college had a student union, and the student union organised events. It organised dances and such like things, and obviously attending those was a, a good way of, of meeting people. It was. Well, look, what a good answer. I mean, it's exactly the same as student I don't think it's any different today. No, it isn't any different today. Uh, Gavin, first watched the Oscast after TB gave you a shout-out at the end of one of his Cataclysm videos. Uh, who could have imagined in five years' time you would have raised $3 million for charity? Well, thank you very much, Gavin. Yeah. That's what we're, up, we're over $3 million to charity now, Dad. That's tremendous, it's good, isn't, isn't it? it? Really good, yeah. It's really nice. And it's I all think, thanks to uh, you guys generously, you know, really, it's all putting, putting your quite, cash down quite. and... Uh, so Frank Shorty has donated two hundred and fifty bucks. Wow! So that's a, a double hundo. Okay. So you have to together. Am I ready? Hundo! hundo! <laughs> nice. I think that's great. I mean, it, it, they're right because there's two aspects to this. There's the yacht cast. Mm -hmm. People like yourself who are doing this, and there's the people out there who are donating. Yeah. Both are needed. Yeah, they are, absolutely. We wouldn't work with that one or the other. Thank you very much, everyone. Um, no name provided. 
Great to see you on the stream, Mr. Brindley. Could you say an old English phrase? Do you know any old English words of wisdom from your childhood that maybe isn't used anymore? Um. Something that, something, just, have you got any advice for the young people of today? Advice for young people? Yeah, just like a, some, some world, weird, weird, world wise advice. Well, it's very difficult giving advice. Um, I'm sure most young people... Maybe something tiny then, not something big, something tiny. Something tiny? Something small. You know. What do you think? I better think about this okay. because this is a serious matter. It is. You can't just give advice off the top of your head. No, no, you've got to no, think about just it. There's so many things, so many, so, so many issues and problems of life, really, that it's. I think the thing to do under any circumstances is always to do the best you can. Yeah. Whatever you're doing. I mean, there are lots of things one ought to do. We know that uh, in a country like ours, which is basically Christian-based, then obviously there's the, the Christian basis of our society, which tells us what we should do. Be good to, to people. Well, that's, yeah, you know, one should be kind, yeah. Yeah. One should... There you go. Should, that's, should that's, I think that's from. what you were looking for. One should be kind. Thank you very much. Ruyen, uh Mr. Brindley, what do you think about Lewis making videos for a living? Uh, I think we know what you think. You think it's terrible, I, I, wasting his time. <laughs> should be learning to do edge. <laughs> no. I think it's bringing uh, enjoyment to a lot of people. And that's to be applauded. Thanks, Dad. Uh, Rahman says, Isla Mao. Hi, Lewis's dad. Have you heard of Isla Mao before? No. He's a famous guy. He's really funny. Uh, Miri, so happy to watch your live streams every year. Keep up the good work. Uh, Hannah has donated. Really enjoying the stream. Thank you. Shout out to Kyle. Uh, Yuho says, Mr. Brindley, you have raised a wonderful son. Lewis is very lucky to have a parent like you. Merry Christmas from Finland to the both of you. Thank you. Uh, Ian Hardgrave. Uh, after putting in five bucks, I realized my paycheck came early. So here's another 25. I really love your dad. Hmm, Thank you good. very much. Thank you. Uh, hooded owl, skull and good yul from Norway. Norway. It's minus oh. 10 degrees C here at the moment, uh, but your streams bring warmth to my hearth. Uh, warmth to my heart, maybe, or hearth. I don't know whether he meant to say heart or hearth. Could be either. Hmm. Um, Welloy, another year, another month of live streams. Been watching for years and had the best time last year when I met some friends, which I... Some, well, some yoghurts, I guess, which I weirdly enough call my friends now. You people are doing a fantastic job raising money so other people can live their life a little bit better. Thank you very much. Uh, Anna L. Beats says, uh, Merry Christmas, Lewis. Thank you very much, Anna. Kevin, um, I love the content you guys bring. So I am so pleased my brother introduced you guys to me. You bring laughter and happiness to my day. Oh, that's good. That's nice. I think that's good to be able to do that. Uh, Kevin, I love the content you guys bring us all. I am so pleased. My, oh, it's the same guy, I think. Thank you. Uh, Dorsey Garbutt, check out my YouTube channel, Hero Brian Garbutt. Have fun and a happy holidays. Uh, Tobias, uh, nothing to say, just donate. Thank you. Dominic Tanza has donated, and Conroy, such a cozy stream, he says. <laughs> it is very cozy. Scott B, <laughs> Triple Hundo. You ready? Triple Hundo! Triple Hundo! Three times. Hondo! And again, Hondo! Thank you, Dad. Great stuff. Great uh, stuff. Thank you to Mr. Brindley and Son. I've managed to get time off work and watch the streams live this year. I'm loving every minute of it. Thank you so much. Honza Bartonicek. Hello, Mr. Brindley. You are quite a bit better at computers than I would have guessed. Well, bombs, maybe. Also, Prague is a really nice place. It hasn't been Czechoslovakia for 23 years, though. What? <laughs> I, I didn't realise it was such a long time. Yeah. Really? I, I, well, I knew it. I knew Winston it Churchill's not Prime Minister anymore, either. No, I know. <laughs> <laughs> That's a shame. I know. Um, NF. Good gracious. F12. Yeah, well, it just time goes so quickly, you see. Hello, Alan and Lewis. My wife and I watched a stream from Hawaii with our morning coffee. Hawaii. And uh, look forward to it each year. Yes, I think it'd be worth going to Hawaii. You think so? Yeah. That's it's on your list of, as well, is it? Prague and Hawaii? Yeah, the uh, Pacific Ocean, you know. Uh, 
Yes, it sounds good. It sounds good. Let's go. Oh, how are you? So, we, we, sounds, we've only got yeah. 13 more minutes of this live yeah. stream, so we can just go. There's a programme. Do you ever see it? Hawaii Five O? No. Was it Hawaii Five O? I think so. I think it was from around about the age of uh, when the Czechoslovakia was still it around. It probably was, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Mars Squeezy, uh, uh, thank you very much for your donation. Uh, asked asked about uh, what was your first reaction to when you heard that I was trying to do this for a living what did you think I thought jolly good show he's doing something alright because previously oh thanks dad Kevin Lowe <laughs> uh, previously didn't like what you were doing I didn't did I no, no. my favourite streams this year have been Hat Films Karaoke Board Meeting and the Lewis Dad Stream Merry Christmas we've had some great streams this year Good. Uh, look, great streams. We've had some really fun stuff. So, Good. Hat Films wrote some songs. I'd love to share them with you, but I don't think they're very appropriate. So maybe you, no. maybe I can share them with you. In that case, afterwards. I'd better not. To uh, there was see a them. video where Trot um, did this fetish thing where he went in a big plastic bag and they sucked all the air out of it. And so it's like it's, it's like a fetish thing. You Ooh. heard of that? No. <laughs> what do you think about that? Sounds dodgy. Does it? Yeah. Well, some people like that. that Do they? Sort of, yeah, yeah. Like being sucked into a plastic bag. <laughs> what? A plastic bag? Well. <laughs> oh, dear. I can't. Plastic we haven't bag. got time. I'm not going to show it to you, but. Oh no, 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 no. I don't want to see anybody. Um, no, it's no good because, you see, being sucked, having a plastic bag and the air sucked out is one way of killing somebody. That's right. Did they teach you that in the National <laughs> Service? Or did you learn that well, for yourself? That, that, was, that was a new way that's, that's come in in recent years. It's, um, all right, good. Kevin Lowe, <laughs> thank you, anyway. Uh, Hannes, Lewis's dad, is the British Dream Dad. Merry Christmas from Sweden. Thank oh, you. Merry Christmas to you, Hannes. Jason Zakharayowitz. Lewis, if you get your dad to try and pronounce my name, I'd yes, be a I would happy do. camper. So that's that's what it says. Oh, there. Well, uh, um, uh, so there's no doubt about it, Jason. I can get the Jason. Okay. So half of it's okay, but the other half, is Zacharowitz. Okay, Zacharowitz. Well, it's a lot longer than what you said, but I'm but guessing yes, but you, we're going to go with. You know, you can't pronounce look. a long name like that. No. And Gerard van der Horning says uh, thanks for everything merry christmas to you thank you for the 60 bucks 60 dollar bucks uh, american dollar bucks good john schmidt shukri i'm a true canadian living in the town now famous thanks to sips been watching since 12 and your earliest videos followed sips since he started uh, the best stream this year was the tutron fighting fantasy stream so do you remember those books that i used to read when i was yes a kid? i did yeah those adventure books yes where you because the the guy we did one last year. We did well. We did one together, didn't yeah, we? we? But did. off stream. Yeah. Yeah. I, I took Dad through one of them um, <laughs> over Christmas. It was fun, wasn't it? <laughs> it was. I, it was a Lord of the Rings one. I remember. Yes, I think I got we killed. Were, or... We were stuck. Yeah, you didn't make very, very no, far. No, I didn't get far. I think you fell into a snake trap or something. Didn't something you? like that. Yeah. That was good fun, actually. I remember enjoying it. Well, it that. was good fun for those who were watching. It wasn't good fun for those who were falling <laughs> into a snake pit. <laughs> uh, Azuri, hello, Mr. Brindley, and Mr. Brindley. Thank you very much. Here's thank you for your five bucks. Frank says uh, greetings from Groningen in the Netherlands. You have been oh, to Groningen? Yes, I've been. No, I've been to the Netherlands, but I haven't been to Groningen. I don't think. Uh, Daniel Young says here's some money. Leonhard Euler. Hey comrades, a quick question. What is your favourite number? What's your favourite number, Dad? Mm. It can be My real or imaginary. Number, you know, you can use pi. Twenty. Twenty. Mm. Why does why does twenty sound good? Well, 20 is actually the number of the 20th Derby St. Augustine's Scout Group. Okay, and that was the one you were in? Yes. Oh, that's a nice, that's a nice, nice reason. I like that. Uh, are you still friends with people from that? Indeed. Then? Right. Yes, we have uh, kept in contact since I left in 1967. Good grief. Uh, Tom, wonderful stream. Thank you, Mr. Brindley, for coming and helping to support these great charities. Oh, uh, Lewis, you're very lucky to have such a lovely dad spend time with. Merry Christmas to you both and to those of us who might not be as fortunate. Well, I'm sorry to hear that, but thank you for your donation. Uh, I, I realise how fortunate I am. Um, Martin from the Netherlands. Hello, Mr. And Mis Mr. And Mr. Brindley. From one teacher to another, Merry Christmas. Thank you. Merry Christmas Thank you for you. all the laughs. Eggholm. Merry Christmas from the Pharaohs. 
Um, We've had someone else on the phone. Yeah, I know. I didn't know anyone lived uh, there at no, all, but uh, apparently lots of uh, people do. Uh, yes, that's interesting. They've got it? internet up there and everything. Yeah, good. Well done. Uh, Brett and Celeste, greetings from Chicago. As a long-time fan whose wife recently became a fan, thanks for all your hard work and the wonderful content you create. Thank you very good, much, thank Brett you. and Celeste. Lotus Rockenqvist. There you go. Thank you. Oh, now that's uh, it was. Is that a Norwegian name or a Lotus Rosenqvist? Swedish or it's a good name, isn't it? I like it. Yeah. Gannon. Hi, Lewis and Mr. Brittany. The stream is great, and you both are wonderful. Thank you for bringing such joy to the world. Shout out to the rest of the Oscars and all the staff that makes it possible. Yes. Thank you. I do. Uh, this is my last stream, actually. Uh, for now, I'm probably going to come back after Christmas, but mm -hmm. I don't know when the trains are going to happen. I'm staying. I'm going back to, to. We're going back together tomorrow, aren't we? Yes. And we're going to spend a few days seeing yeah. my nan and my brother and my mum and hanging out with other people and just Having watching rest. crappy TV, cooking and yeah, opening presents. Like that. Having what may be called a slow Christmas. Uh, yeah, I like having a slow Christmas sometimes. I think it's it's a good idea to have. Uh, period of time when you slow things down yeah gives you a chance to recharge your batteries oh well think about things other than work i so uh, we've we've got hand over in about five minutes but i just wanted to say that you know i need to thank if i'm not if i'm not back on the live streams which i, I might be i should be when i get back um just a big thank you to everyone who's worked so hard here and you guys obviously I thank you guys a bit too much, actually. <laughs> I, I can't thank you guys enough. Um, but I want to thank S Sam and Steve for all their work in the studio and Duncan and Shin for just being super, super rock solid and giving up so much of their time um, this Christmas to fill in all the streams with me. And thank you to Terps and for Mark Humes and Nina, uh, Tuchon and Harry and Hat Films guys. Uh, thank you to Hannah and Kim and Simon for coming in and doing some really great streams. And thank you to, of course, all of our guests who've come in and done special streams and uh, will continue to do so. Uh, Zoe and Fiona have done some amazing streams and all of the guys on, on our team speak, you know, Ravs, Deltos, Silas, of course, um, everyone who's come and so, well, so many guests have come on. It's been it's been amazing. I need to, there's probably people I'm going to forget, but, you know, everyone who's been involved in this has, has really just given up their time to do this. And, yes. and it's. It's mm. super amazing and it's really, really warming. So thank you, everyone, so much. Um, I think we will leave it there. There's still a few donations which I would like to read out, but they're all wonderfully positive. Um, it's been a really good stream. Good. Let's go and get something to eat because we haven't eaten anything okay. today. Um, time to say bye-bye then. Time to say goodbye. Goodbye, uh, everyone. Ellie Rose and Benny Central will be taking over. They are the Xbox On team. And they're pretty cool. They're really funny. So give them a lot of support and love. Yeah. Um, and thank you, everyone else, for watching. Thank you for donating. Hope yes, you enjoyed thank it. Thank you very much. And uh, yeah, lots of love. Yeah. Goodbye. Lots of love. Bye. <laughs>